There's a microphone slowly lowering <laughs> to the ceiling. And they, when they talk, and when they're done talking, it quickly shoots up. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid joke. Is the joke better than the joke about Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> no. The AI-generated pop star, Tyler Swift. Just picture Wait, that headline. Wait, is that a real pop star? <laughs> no. No. No, it, no, no, no. I think it is. Tyler Swift? Yeah. You mean Taylor Swift? No, Tyler. Tyler, Tyler the Swift. creator? <laughs> Tyler. Tyler the Swift. Tyler the Swift Steed. Tyler the Swift. We have all the secrets on the latest AI generated the latest pop star. AI generated pop stars hitting the charts. Tyler Swift. <gasps> the, the AI was getting jealous of Taylor Swift. Yeah. Yeah. AI wants the clout. The now. AI made its name own name up. It was once <laughs> Austin wants the clout. So, so creative, Tyler Swift. <laughs> Is that your new band name? <laughs> I'm changing my name. It's not going to be Caroline Lucius anymore. It's going to be Tyler We've Swift. We've thought about this for a long time. I'm, I'm Tyler. I get to be Tyler. You're Tyler. You're Swift. Uh, I'll be the. It's always You'll be the. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the Tyler, Tyler Swift. Swift. The. Sure. Mm-hmm. That's my new pronoun, the. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even what pronoun, pronoun, it's just your the. whole being. The, the. My being is the. <laughs> just gets canceled right out the gates for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just mentioning pronouns, but I was talking about a and an. That's a pronoun. Your right? pronouns could be a uh, and a <laughs> uh, and. No, I was talking about like if you call the ice cream a uh, ice cream. I love calling it a uh, ice cream, but then I was like, wait, that's not even. You don't even say an ice. I'm cream. having a ice cream. You don't even say like I'm having an ice cream. <laughs> wait, do you say a or a? Uh? What the cat's back? Oh my god. The cat- <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? There's no shot this cat is back. Wait, Wait he disappeared. Wait, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Some cat that never comes to my house decided to visit. And then what did we say no, it's earlier? Not, it's not only just a cat, though. Is it the same cat? It's like a cat that just like, stares. <laughs> he's, he's got an intense stare. And he's like, I want to come in your house. He does. <laughs> Seriously, I think. Oh, my God, wait. I want to take a picture of that cat. He's gone. You can't get it now. He was, man, he disappeared as quickly What's as What's the cat's name? What? Oh, what would that cat's name be? Can we ask AI to give us? Chat yeah. G- we need chat GPT. <laughs> yeah. That cat is so cool. I would probably... always want an animal around when I'm doing a podcast. I know. Yeah, Too cool. bad the dogs aren't here. Oh, they'd probably run away. Yeah. yeah, my yeah, dog they... would just want to get on top of me. Yeah, no, he's he's smothers us. That cat. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what, wait, wait, what did the cat do earlier? It was like, what were we saying? We were saying something. Oh, oh no. No, we yeah, saw the we... cat. It left. Then you came back down the stairs, and then we were talking about the cat, and you were like, it's gone, and then he's just like peeks around the corner. He's he like, just me? like, oh me, me? you talking about you're me? Talking about me? <laughs> just like an intense stare and that was like now last now like, like, talking. He's just like gone he's, he's gone, gone. That was he's a goner he's cool. gone with the wind oh well he he Tuesday's gone well we're we made it to the freaking i don't know where we're at right now um we're in a where we, we are <laughs> we're in an alternate universe with chat gpt and yeah. ai and yeah. this whole video is ai is, i always feel like i'm in an alternate universe the world-renowned famous <laughs> uh ai podcast i just talk about ai <laughs> yeah. All day long. I, I actually don't know anything beside AI at this yeah. point. I am AI. I'm I am. AI generated. Serious mode. No more jokes, guys. No more jokes what about is this? AI. I can immediately what is this shut off. tomfoolery? As in <laughs> I can... AI, I can shut off from jokes. <laughs> Just tell me this. AI, stop no, actually, jokes. I can't. I can from never AI. shut off from jokes. What's your What's yeah. your best joke? Life. <laughs> You're looking at it. My life. <laughs> What's your best joke, Schaefer? Uh, my best joke. Uh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, nice joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's my joke. Um. Um. I actually say um a lot on this podcast. My joke is that I, I for see how long I can just keep saying um until no I get no ums. No ums. I was gonna say um, you gotta get out of here. You gotta get yeah. out of the podcast. No, no ums, ums so. ands, if ands or buts. <laughs> Oh, I think you meant like no more like ums or uhs, like filler. Yeah. But you can't say but either? You can't say but. And you can't say and either? No, you can't. No. No. Because. Gosh, you're going to have to like re- completely you reconsider can't say you. any sentences <laughs> you I'm going to have to say. You. you can't say It's you. all like a waste of time. <laughs> it is. Because if I'm looking at you, I'm talking Wait, to you. Wait, you just said you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Get out of here with that. Uh, I can't leave now. <laughs> All right, just, if you feel yeah. the need to say something, just open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have AI. That's why you guys are here to learn all about this oh my AI. God. I podcast. just remember the video. Is, it's old. Have you seen the thing where they they made like a machine of like a somebody's mouth and vocal cords? <laughs> no. And it's like making sounds. It's the scariest thing. It's old. Oh, it's Tyler just, Swift. <laughs> Tyler Swift. Yeah, it was the, that was it's in her. Tyler infancy. the cre- Tyler. That that's what Tyler the creator. That was what he created. Yeah. He cre- that I was, was always him. wondering, like, what did he create, right? He made a mouth. That was the big that, question. That makes oh, noises. No, it's, it's a scary video. It's terrifying. Yeah, oh. don't show me that. That sounds yeah. wicked. No, it's it's bad. It's it's not a good video. Is it as bad as AI? Um, <laughs> it's it's worse. It's more it's more unsettling than AI because AI is just kind of funny. <laughs> like, is AI funny? I think it is. Yeah. I don't know. Have you guys used chat it's a GPT? I for jokes. Yeah. <laughs> like, for jokes? <laughs> well, like, you know, you have it say something funny, like write a song about That's this. It's like fifth grade level. What if you That's guys exactly did that? what you would do. Have you guys tried doing that? Ask AI yeah. to write a song? See yeah. what happens? No, I know people who've done that. You yes. haven't tried it? I haven't tried it because I write my own. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, that's but, so not 2023. Yeah, I know, right? I know. No, write your own songs? What's wrong with you? The hell? Unfortunately. So that's like um, the new hack of twenty. Everyone's an artist now, including yeah. me. Yeah, that's no. Why I have this mic actually. I'm singing to Chat well, GPT. <laughs> wait, <laughs> Chat no. GPT is going to take all our dialogue and turn it into a song. There's, it's going it's gonna to alter the pitches. There's yeah. a difference between having it write a song and actually doing something with that song. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, so you mean people like people ask it to just, write a song and, and like, be like this use is funny? It? No, I I've never heard. I don't know. Okay. Who knows? That might be. I all mean, that. I could picture somebody doing that and then Yo. just saying, "Well, it's 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 art of its own kind." I actually, <laughs> we make jokes about, but I think there was an actual AI artist that was out there, and like it had like an AI picture and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? There was a few AI artists for a while. It was a real thing. I'm not making. Are that they up. on Spotify? I'll support. Uh, they hit like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll you gotta juice you. up the numbers for I'll an subscribe. AI artist. <laughs> They're working hard. We just gotta like help the rest these. Of us. We gotta help these guys. No, they're not. Dude, they have AI has it so hard. Oh they God, have it so hard. Because everybody, hard just tells, everybody just tells them what to do they're all the time. They're in all the headlines now. Yeah. People talking about People them. People are scared of them. We're on it. I'm a, I mean, we're on the most famous podcast in the world talking I about know. it. I know. I know. The, the AI, number one source of AI, AI. <laughs> discussion. Jesus. This is a. This By is a three great. tech experts. <laughs> I am the biggest tech expert here, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, I think so. Let's think hear so. it. <laughs> what's your? Hot... That's like asking a comedian to tell jokes. No, what's your hot tech take? <laughs> my, hot, my hot tech take is that um, AI shouldn't be writing songs. That's my. Is that tech? What's tech? What is tech? I'd say AI. Who is, is tech? Wait, what's tech? <laughs> tech not technology. I'm asking this. Uh, out of sincerity, like right? out of sinc- you've never heard that word in your life, right? <laughs> no, <Ever>. no, <laughs> I never have. No, what's tech? Tech, I think, is like tech. Uh, I'm, I'm asking it like techno. as I'm, I'm a something. creative Tech. writer professor. Because that's all you know, right? <laughs> Just that. And I hear this word floating I'm around asking- tech. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, guys, let's write. You know, oh, you back in my write- day, they were using that word a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing. Uh, I want you guys all to write an essay. What does tech and what does tech mean to you? And what well, would like the hypothesis be? Do I have to write a page? Now on this? you guys don't know what to say. I'm, I'm <laughs> We're stunned. We're I'm just stunned. stunned. <laughs> You're stunned. I'm baffled. Nothing. I'm baffled in all the best ways. I think if everyone statement. wrote an essay of what is tech to you, the world. <laughs> <laughs> the world would change the world forever. Would change. We'd have a change. We'd all get planet. off of social media. <laughs> <laughs> so let's give them a prompt that, like, a fifth grader would get. I would for an rather SA. write prompts the rest of my life than ever use social media a day again. Wait, write the prompts or write the entries of the prompts? Oh, all of it. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean prompt? Make a prompt. You made a prompt. Shaver, do you what? journal? Do you know what a prompt is? Oh, no, I don't journal. So he I, doesn't. Journal. I now I know what you Loser. mean. Loser. Do you journal? Loser. Only losers don't Only journal. Do you, <laughs> do you journal? Look at me. I'm the biggest journalist in the world. <laughs> well, oh wait, journalist or journaler? 
A journal miller? <laughs> I hardly know her. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, journaler. A journaler oh, is, so is more dumb. important. I know. This is, this is, this is, this is. Ew, sorry. I like cough when cough I cough. Actually, closer so to the mic next time. Write journal prompts. I now I know what journal prompts. Journal are. Well, you're prompts. asking the million dollar question. What are we all here for? Yeah, what are we here? What for? are we here for? What we're does just, tech mean to? We're <laughs> still in the alternate universe. We haven't we haven't left it. We're in the matrix, as they say we're on the internet. We're just hopping over to another alternate universe. <laughs> yeah. There is no actual universe. You can find this podcast at AIPodcast.com. But, uh, anyway. It's a fake look, URL. <laughs> don't go to that. Don't look it up, please. Yeah. Don't look that up. Um, you will make no progress in your life if you do. But <laughs> you, will, <laughs> you will make progress by listening to this awesome podcast. Yeah. Um, and definitely, we have some very special second-time guests here. And this time we've got... A lot of new new things to talk about, including some new music stuff. Um, we did a trip out to California for this music video. We did it, which is a part of that EP we'll get into a little bit. And I don't know. I, I think one thing that we were talking about as well was uh, kind of the back and forth with music and how... And, and like posting on social media and how all that works out and kind of being vulnerable as it comes to music. Um, so I think those are going to be some things that we'll cover in this episode. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'll let you guys kind of reintroduce yourselves as well. Start it back off from the top. Cool. I'm Caroline Lucius and this is my brother. On stage, uh, I usually say, this is my brother, Schaefer, and yeah, he doesn't Yeah, but this talk. time I have my own microphone, so. I thought you had a system uh, that talked for you. Yeah, <laughs> usually I have that in place at the shows. I, I was telling Caroline to bring it with her, and she forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah know, you're course. not allowed to yeah, talk. I'm not allowed to. He's so. not allowed to say the word you either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's provided. We have a whole list you of rules. You and. They're very, very common. It's your songwriting. No rules. ifs, ands, or buts. No ifs, and buts, or yous, or ands. So, yeah, this is my brother, Schaefer. Yep. He's, We're, uh, he's a famous Redditor. <laughs> We're going to be he's done with famous. this, and I'm going to look, and my mic was never on. There's <laughs> a running joke. <laughs> yeah. There's a running joke that Schaefer's a, a, Reddit, a famous Redditor. Spike, way to spike yeah. things on. I don't know where the joke came from. I probably from. go on Reddit way more than you, and I don't, I just, just to, like. I mean, everybody uses Reddit still recording. at some point. Just be like, why is, yeah. I, I don't want to tell you what I ask Reddit. <laughs> That's where you guys get all your song lyrics from, right? Yep. It's yeah. No creativity. It's just copy pasta. Copy. Everything. Yes. Yeah. I just yeah. go. We on go that. to the li- lyric song lyrics subreddit. <laughs> song lyrics subreddit. <laughs> and then no, you search within lyrics. search within the subreddit. I actually, for the record, think that you guys have some of my favorite lyrics. If I'm being honest. Oh, you cool. Guys, That's always nice to know. Because sometimes I write them and I'm like, nobody's paying attention. No, <laughs> the more like. And I, I don't know if you're going to get into, like, specifics, but, like, even when I'm, like, editing, like, for instance, we'll, we'll, I'll get into that a little bit yeah uh, later on. But when I was editing Beach Day, even, I was, like, the, the lyrics, like, growing on me. As That's I'm, a like, very wordy song, too. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a word in there that I, like, learned, too, for the first time. There there are a couple big words in there that I don't know if I'm even going to pronounce them right. Yeah, well, let's, let, we'll get ones? into that, too. Okay. Um, but I guess, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right, we'll, podcast we'll over, folks. That, no, <laughs> no, no. I, I actually like doing this in person a lot better than like over the computer. Yeah, me too. Oh, it's so always better. Yeah, it's a lot better. Yeah, I should do this more often. Um, but I don't know if I like that word. <laughs> giggly. I'm giggly. I'm giggly. Yeah, I don't like that word. <laughs> what's, Ew. A good, what's a better word for giggly? Funny. Bubbly. Silly. I'm yeah, but then if I say I'm much more funny and I'm much funnier in person, that sounds like a brag. I'm much funny in person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I people funny. see me in person. They say much, much funny from that one. <laughs> I'm much. I think everything's funny in person. That's what. There I was you go. That's no. Remember, in, remember in California when you were just like dying. You got like the laughs off the sun. Yeah, well, I don't, we, and huh? on the plane too. Yeah, on the plane, but we were on the beach, and you just were like, I think you did oh, like a yeah, trust yeah, fall, yeah. or you were just. I did I don't a know, trust fall. I you. just <laughs> fell backwards. <laughs> Wait, why no, don't I, didn't, I remember? No, no, this. I did we're gonna like, hide that content behind the paywall. Yeah. Uh, no, on the plane, we were making fun of Schaefer because we were like, you know, when you're on a plane, remember? Oh, my God. Should I, should yeah. I even say this? It's just, <laughs> it's just so stupid. When you're on a plane and, like, you can't see outside, but you can tell when you're going like that. 
And it's like, whoa, how can I tell? Like, nothing's moving. The plane's not going. And then Schaefer's like, oh, it's your equilibrium. And (laughs) Max and I were like, okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Like, fun answer. (laughs) What would you you have wanted the answer to be? No, the question is, what the frick did you learn that? I don't. (laughs) It was like, all right, class, say we're learning about plane equilibrium. (laughs) I don't even know if I'm right. It's something I didn't learn. But then Schaefer's, like, come back was, what if I came and. Turn your room on its side. <laughs> Don't okay. He's how, the strongest man on the take, earth. Take learned. me out of the equation. <laughs> he's got to talk. What if at he's some point than anyone on this planet? <laughs> and you're like, how would you like? What that? What if I turned your room on its side, which I I could totally do, because I am that strong. But uh, no, I just meant what if you woke up and your room was <laughs> tilted, not by me. By some natural to be, like, disaster. Under the influence. For that <laughs> and to then be you the said, case. like, uh, did you say, like, you wouldn't notice? Or something? No, you would notice. <laughs> but you know, you'd okay, notice because everything in your room would be. <laughs> Dude, the earth is All flat. Right. Come on, get out of here yeah. with that. <laughs> We're the, the earth is flat. Therefore, the earth everything is, like, is the flat. The earth is a surfboard. It's flat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the earth tilts. It's trippy. The earth it's is flat, trippy. but it does tilt. Uh, Jeez. I'm glad you guys. Are on the same wavelength as my god ADHD is awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody. Yeah, uh, uh, where I'm like, I'm like, I so, I'm, like, I'm like, let's talk about the EP, and we're like talking about like the room I rotating. Forgot, I'm so bad. I forgot. I almost forgot my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I yeah. forget everything. I, I forget. Actually don't know. I, I don't want to like just be like, oh, you guys have that, but um, I don't think you. I don't think you. I'm not accusing you guys of it, but um, yeah, yeah. I'm. I, we were trying to figure that out earlier too. What like the 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 fine line is between like being like you do have it. I mean, oh, ADHD? obviously you can get like diagnosed, right? But like yeah, there's like diagnosis, but I I do feel like more and more of my friends at least are like, I just we're also distracted and also forgetful, and my phone just went off just now to distract. And you're like, I wonder if distract. like yeah, right? if like the standards of people's attention spans and things focus today, if like. 20 years ago that it would it would uh qualify as adhd you know but right. like oh, everybody because like I, you know people throw the word around yeah and like i don't know how many people today actually have adhd people throw but a i lot definitely of in general people are more oh yeah distracted yeah. so i'm like i wonder Easy. if things yeah. are just so bad now that we're just used to it yeah you know it's just like yeah we're, we're in the freaking matrix dude. yeah it's <laughs> constant stimulation and which yeah like that's the whole social media thing with being an artist. It's so hard to. I'll sleep my bank account numbers. Uh, Can't do that. Anymore. What is that? <laughs> a bank receipt? <laughs> yeah. Let me just unravel it. Uh, <laughs> God, I almost docked myself. Um, then have to zoom it's way crazy. in. It's <laughs> crazy. Zoom in. Enhance. What's zoom crazy? In. <laughs> we are losing topics. All three of us <laughs> are on different topics. Way off topic. Uh. But, they, but let's let's go back. Let's let's kind of actually that's actually a, a good segue for later on. We'll, we'll okay. get into social media stuff. Sure. But um, the EP, the EP. Let's talk yes. about that because that is what's new. That's what the people we think want to hear. Yeah. That's what they came the here. The people for. are so excited about our EP. We Have we like, told anyone that? About, I've had to like know. take people away from your house. Like they've just been knocking at your door. I know. Cats are coming to windows. Cats I mean, are coming look at to that. Yeah, he, wanna... that was. My Paparazzi. dogs are barking at me. I, re- I really, really want them to come back. Um, um, the EP, we haven't even really announced it officially, and we should. Like, there's, It's not like a big secret. It's I know. Just... I announced your address before you went to announce the EP. That's why they're all knocking at your door. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Okay. I was wondering why they were there. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. Yeah, I mean... it's, it's okay. Um, we are... Gosh, we don't know how many songs are going to be on it. This is going to make it sound like we have no idea what this Idiot. EP is. Idiot. We, yeah, do know know. How, we do know how many songs kind of we don't even we know, know what it's gonna be <laughs> we know no we yeah no know i mean okay. the a- ep we're still getting to know it okay it's yeah, kind of like a friend a right kind of like a friend it's a friend that we're like we're still getting to know things it. are a good going analogy. well things I, are going I, well and but yeah. it's still got a, it's got a long way to go i think you so. can expand yeah. on that like you know it's like an ep it has to like grow on you how a yes. friend does it's got a what are some other? Come on, help me out here. Like we got it. Like, a... like, how long do you want to be friends with that? Friend? Yeah, <laughs> and then what happens if you're not friends with the EP anymore? Yeah, you let it go you into it the go, ether, and you just you really you release it. You re- there you go. You so, release it. Yeah. 
into I the think wild. It's, yeah, maybe it's more. That's like what I would do with child. my that was, friends. Oh, that was genius. I leave my friends in the woods. I really send them to the wild. <laughs> yes. So that's what we're gonna you do. You make them uh, better people, and then yeah. you leave them. You abandon them. That's you. <laughs> Build them into stronger people. What are you doing um, all that time with the EP? You're, you know, you're, you have a lot of time working on it. Working uh, on it. What, what's been it. new? What's been new with you guys with the EP? Tell me a little bit about that process. Like what? Well, you know, start first, to end. First, yeah. First, it was just like we wanted to make. It, we've been releasing so many singles, so we're like, we want yeah. to make something that's like a full project. Mm-hmm. So we kind of got together like six to seven song ideas, and now yeah. Uh, we're almost done, but it's but then it's like you know the mastering, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean um, a lot of them were songs that we had already kind of started. So wait, we kind of yeah. just... so let me let me stop you there as like a dummy. I don't mean to cut you off, That's but like fine. so you you started it and you said you thought about it, right? Like when I think about that from a video perspective, I'm like just out of the blue, sitting, like it's gonna take me like a week to think about it. Like yeah. I'm not just gonna have this idea just like that. What is it like? when you're thinking about it what's like what do you where are you getting these ideas from what where's the starting point well for me at least i don't know about for you i always have (laughs) (laughs) i stopped yawning i know it's the most boring podcast (laughs) quit yawning damn it (laughs) (laughs) i stopped for me i don't know about you but like i always have ideas written i always have lyrics i always have songs Mm -hmm. i'm working on half of songs written whatever so like yeah i had ideas sitting around and i was like so if i want to make an ep Mm -hmm. i'm gonna just like take whatever songs i have and then make a list of like what are some solid like at least you know base ideas of what we can do and then Mm -hmm. um i I think at first we were like should we have some kind of running theme should they all kind of have but honestly all the songs i'm writing now do have i mean it's all Mm -hmm. about like again another really 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 broad term is mental health but I guess mm-hmm. that's what it kind of is. The <laughs> I encompasses. Guess, I mean, I guess it encompasses that, but it also like when I say a little bit about de- beach day, whenever that's gonna, mm-hmm. whenever you want to talk about that, like that, I, I don't know if that's not necessarily it's mental health and more just like, um, just the things we go through. I don't know. Human experience. I the, guess. Yeah, you, what, what, what song isn't better. about the cycles of life? What song isn't about human experience? Yeah, I know. That's poetry and the AI music songs. And yeah, the AI songs. Uh, so AI I guess songs should be interesting. I want to I I want to dive into that deeper because we did uh, mention that. I want to like so as you're thinking about these song ideas and all that, like is it you're sitting down for those that don't know, like you're not just sitting down like for a week straight and then like Monday you've got one song written, Tuesday you've got the next one. Like no. you're like having to sit there and like go through like like mental cycles while like writing this stuff no and we well we, and that's the funny thing we tried that i kept right i had kept abandoning notebooks like pages what i would i would like try to like plan out like this is the date we're going to be done with this song this is the date we're going to be d- done with this you know yeah i tried to do that i tried yeah. to like map it out and yeah. it just would not work because mm-hmm. things happen you get busy yeah and then- yeah, you know, it takes enough time as it is. Or you like change course, or like yeah, you're like oh yeah. we were gonna finish this song today, but let's move on to this other song first. And yeah. So it changes. Right. Yeah, it's nothing's like set in stone. Nothing's concrete. What do you think causes that? Uh, I I don't know. I guess just the artistic process of like yeah. Um, it's not just. And I guess I what, almost have like a fear of working on a song for too long. Okay. So if I feel like I'm I, like yeah. too much of a perfectionist with it. Well, how does That's it? How does that change the dynamic? Because like for most people, I don't want to say most people, but on it, I think you guys in particular have like a unique situation where it's like you guys are siblings yeah. and you guys like grew up together, so you're like working on music together. And I think that makes like the dynamic different in a sense that like you guys also have, obviously have like two very different lives and like, yeah. also have like you know you guys like live together and things like that. So how does that like change the process as far as like what you're you know, like, let's say, for example, I guess the best way to word this is, like, what if you woke up one day and you're like, I don't feel like writing, but Shaver's like, I got to do this, like, guitar thing one day or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, how do you guys balance? How do you, like, Well, that that's out? kind of one good thing is a lot of the stuff he works on, I don't have to, like, we kind of split, because I do, I do all the lyrics, obviously, mm-hmm. and then he, so, yeah, there's days where it's pretty easy, where it's, like, if I'm busy, because, mm-hmm. like. Yeah, I mean, most of the time I'm able to just, yeah. Yeah. But like, what about like mixing? So like you're you're doing a lot of the mixing, right, Schaefer? 
Yeah, I'm that, trying. Honestly, I mean, I'm not a professional, but yeah. I should give a shout out. Yeah, like he's doing 90% of the work on this thing. <laughs> on the mixing? <laughs> no, on the whole EP. I mean, okay, yeah. Songwriting. I mean, you write the lyrics and I write some the lyrics in some of the songs, but he's taking on a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's also a weird time when you were talking about like, yeah, like getting stuff done. It's a weird time in both of our lives because I feel like both of us are in a big like new chapter starting and sure. like, you know... Once you get in your 30s, life starts changing, getting busier. Mm-hmm. So we're kind of, yeah, it, yeah, it's like a big transition trying it to. It is. It's it's a strange. It almost feels like it's all colliding. At yeah, once. It, <laughs> it is really. And maybe that's why it's taking longer. But it yeah, because we're just it's just there's so much going on. Yeah. That, but I mean, we do prioritize. What yeah. happens like, because for me, I guess I relate to the like mixing end of it in the sense of like editing. Yeah. Where it's like I can go all day. Like I can right now leave this podcast, go shoot a video. I'm fine with that. Yeah. But like there's something to editing when I'm going to edit a video where I'm just like I could sit in front of a computer and have nothing going on from like nine to ten at night or whatever. Yeah. And just be like, oh, like can't do that. Like I and even if I crack it open, I'll be like, nope. Like, oh, you don't want to edit. I literally will sit there and be like, oh, wh- where's the cut button? Like what is what's the fade out like? Yeah, just like my brain like doesn't work. Yeah, like, there's no yeah. like. I guess it's like yeah. about getting into that sense of flow. Or something. Yeah, it's hard. So, like, I mean, it that can be tiring too. I mean, I think it's about yeah, kind of powering through, um, kind of creating a ritual. I mean, they, people say this with writing, like create a ritual out of it, like make yourself a cup of coffee and like I don't know, we do that. Mm-hmm. We also have we we've been so we've been working on the EP Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mm-hmm. And we have uh, names for these days now. <laughs> Music Monday, Wurlitzer Wednesday. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, Wednesday. that's really cool. And Funky Friday. That is yes. so cool. We, we, at first, we were like, I was like, what would be Wednesday? Waltz Wednesday. Wait, so what's Tuesday and Thursday? Tuesday and Thursday, we actually try to live life. Trippy Tuesday. Yeah, we're just doing everything <laughs> Yeah, else. we could do that. Tuesdays and Thursdays, Thirsty we, Thursday. we try to Thirsty <laughs> Thursday. get stuff done. Like, ugh. Oh, man, I got to think of names for those days man. yeah but we're not super working on saturday music. i know but they could be something super else. saturday salsa super sunday. Saturday. salty sunday salty sunday yeah <laughs> slumber we're too sunday. salty to write on sunday oh sleepy sunday. yeah they could be like okay yeah yeah I, sleepy I see. sunday take it easy sleepy tuesday sunday. like take, take it easy tuesday and I uh, therapeutic like thursday i and i i think i bring this up <laughs> not to like bring the vibes down to be like oh man like what's it you know what i mean like it goes with the hand in hand with like you were saying the topic of the albums like a mental yeah. health thing and i i do like you know back to what we we're saying i, I do want to like i think that's an important thing that's like not really talked about as far yeah. as like the creation process like everyone's good at like just hitting play on the song and listening yeah. to it um well not i mean i don't know how to say that. <laughs> people are sometimes <laughs> stubborn but yeah uh, you know what i'm trying to say uh so i think that is like a really important part of it do you what what part i guess out of that is like would you say is i don't because obviously none of this is easy but like what is like the easier end of this do you guys think like throughout the whole process of like a song from start to end is it like or what do you maybe not easiest but like what do you have the most fun with Um, like for me with video it's like i love like like the technical things like in person shooting like oh that shot looks really cool or like you know what i mean um the writing process and also just some of the recording process itself you yeah. know like sometimes it can be frustrating but sometimes it is really fun once you have everything laid out for a song and you know what you want to do mm-hmm. getting those sounds on there and layering things and mixing and coming up with some cool effect panning something from left to right or whatever mm-hmm. um, that's always really rewarding and usually yeah. it's not too frustrating you know sometimes it's just the it's the other aspects that can be overwhelming but that's the fun stuff is like you're getting that creative feedback of what mm. you're doing immediately. That um, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Once you know what you're doing too, that there's something to be said about like, like once you know exactly what needs to be done, yes. if you have a clear, if you have a clear idea of what needs to be done, if it's like this vague thing of like, Oh my God, where do you even begin? It's a blank slate and it's overwhelming. Yeah. But yeah. Right. Or like, you don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm still like even figuring out lot. We're using logic and that's mm-hmm. even, that's just like a whole learning curve. So sometimes I get impatient with that. I'm much more impatient than I feel like you, you're more you got patient. a lot of patience with this. Yeah. I'm, I mean, as in, much what, as, in what regard? As you, much, I feel like you, you're more you got patient. a lot of patience with this. Yeah. 
I mean, as in, much what, as, in what regard? As much think, as I though? need in terms of just like what a song, you know, what it needs. What, well, like, what do you what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, break it down a little bit for those like so, like, let's say you have like lyrics, right? And then you yeah. have like, I don't know, you've got like drums and guitar and all that like lined up, right? Yeah. Like, what do you mean in that regard? Like, as far as like mixing. Um, we might reach this point where a song is, you know, it's getting almost done, mm -hmm. and I'm just like. You know, she wants to move on, or you want to, you know, finish. And I'm just like, no, it doesn't sound. This part sounds like crap. This part, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of that kind of stuff, or just like learning how to use the software. Are you the guy that like once it's like quote unquote done, you have to like go back and you're like, oh, I should have done that. Yeah, that definitely. Order. Which is why I don't listen to anything that I've done. <laughs> once <laughs> it's done, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna. Just... Do you have a hard time with that? I feel like for video, I have this thing where like, like I'll send. Before I send someone a video, I'll like I have to stop editing and then come back and then look at it. Or like yeah, even with definitely. this podcast, when I get done with it, like I like even though I like think this is a great episode, mm -hmm. I'm still gonna have this thing where I'm like, can't hear my voice, can't hear it for another two days, and yeah. I can now I can hear it. Yeah. It's and you I need that time away. Yeah, and I mean I'm like that too. Like you can sit and I mean, it, in terms of like working on something, mm -hmm. like yeah, you can. I, I've had it where I've like I've been sitting for hours trying to figure out what like one part needs of a song or something, and yeah. like yeah, you need to just get up and do something else and like move on, even for days at a time, like you said. You know? Yeah. Um, you need to clear your head. Yeah, taking time. Which I mean, taking like every other day off has been helpful I think. yeah do yeah you, you'll get guys, burnt out do you guys think and i don't know if this is just me speaking out of personal experience but do you think like for me if i'm like in an editing rut or like like you guys were talking about taking time off i feel like that time off sometimes i need time to like go socialize with other people again or like go out in public again to like touch grass yeah <laughs> to be like yeah. oh yeah like or even if it's just like a simple walk yeah. I can like get going again, type of thing. But like I don't know, I, is that I don't know. If that's just a me thing, or do you guys you guys have that too with like music, where it's like you gotta go socialize, or do you guys oh, recharge sure. just like being by I yourself? I feel like that's gotta be universal for oh, creative yeah. people. Maybe not. I feel like, uh -huh. but for me, yeah, definitely, because I've had that where, again, you'll get burnt out, and sometimes if you go and do something like that, even for days at a time, all of a sudden, in the back of your mind, that idea will just suddenly. You know, you yeah. almost have to let it stir. Right. And then right. it'll just suddenly come out of your subconscious or whatever. Do you ever have it happen with that idea? Just like, for me, I hate when this happens. Like, I'll be on a shoot or I'll be like out in public and like that idea comes into my head and I'm good at writing it down for the most yeah. part. But sometimes I'll forget to write it down and I'll wake up the next morning and then I'll go. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I feel like gone. there have probably been genius ideas that are just lost and like <laughs> in around the whole brains. world. And, yeah, it's the scariest thing. Like no, and once yeah. they're gone, you can't. I they're mean, really probably gone. For most, yeah. I mean, maybe you'll think of them again, but like yeah. that yeah. original idea you had is probably gone. Uh -huh. So it's that's I, yeah. what's scary. Yeah, and I'm lazy with that. You got to be able to write it down. I use like the voice memo app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just some, oh, yeah, I'll just smart. like I'll, like there's embarrassing clips of me just going like da 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 like just no, like some kind of that. tune yeah. I'm like no. this sounds awful but I guess I see what I thought sounded cool that's what's like, scary yeah. too is you want to you wonder if your future future self will understand the context of the note that you made oh you know? I, I yeah. sometimes I don't oh, yeah. because then you sometimes still might forget the idea yeah. and you'll be like what was I talking about I think <laughs> I, yeah. I've wrote stuff down in like weird little fractions where I know like bits and pieces of something and then I'll write like cut like color up or like weird stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and you have no idea. And then I'm like, and then like that day, I'll be like, dude, this is the best idea in the whole world. And then next morning I wake up, I'm like, color up, what? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah you just You're in a completely meant. different headspace. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's that's interesting. what's so strange about creativity like that is that you have moments like that of like a creative outburst or a moment where it's like it's almost like you were a different person at that moment mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah because you had something an idea like that can be so incredibly distinct that it's only you're only fully aware of it in that moment i mean yeah. like if you, yeah, you should like a make switch. a note of it obviously but like in that moment that it comes to you and maybe it depends on what you're doing and where you are at the time but it can be so distinct that it's like it's so 
it's so slippery. It's like yeah. a switch in your brain that's on for a second, and then you're like, oh, yeah. wow, that light's on. Yeah. yeah. But then you don't know if it's going to, like, go back off. I also feel like when you step away, like even the refresh, how you said, like with any creativity universally, it's going to like, if you step away, it's going to help. You have to, you also have to like live life and like let bad things happen to you. And touch like, grass. Yeah. Touch yeah, grass, yeah. but also like, you know, have like bad experiences and then like, you know, make sure you appreciate other things. And I mean, good and bad things happen, mm-hmm. obviously, but not just sit, you know, with a blank piece of paper and try to write something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go to Starbucks on your laptop and sit yeah. and think of ideas. I guess you could be inspired there. Yeah, I don't know. How do you guys feel about, so, like, you guys have been coming to, like, some shows with me here and there. Yeah, yeah. Um, In contrast to, like, and not in a sense of, like, because I know some people could look at this and go, oh, man, well, that's comparison. But, like, in a sense of not comparison, like, in a sense of going to a show and hearing other music, do you ever, does that ever make you feel like, oh, man, that's, like, one less idea for me? Or does that make you feel like, you can be inspired off of that. Cause I guess the way, the reason I ask that is like when I watch a music video, sometimes like yeah. I'll have an idea that's like in my head and then I'll watch it and go there, there goes like the oh, thing yeah. that I had going on that like I thought was a cool idea that someone's already done. And I'm like, no, I don't feel like I should copy that. But other times I'm like, you know what? No, like just cause I saw that doesn't mean like I can't like emulate it, make my own version of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think there's something to be said. It's like, it's, it, it's not like you're copy and pasting it. It's like, you see it from your own creative perspective and then right. put your own twist on it. Do you think that helps you as far as like, you know, as far as like maybe like writing or as far as like your music, do you think like, have you been to a show before? You're like, yo, I need to like incorporate that in my music or things like maybe that. Maybe like, yeah, maybe even just like some sort of thing that has to do with stage presence sure. or like maybe like vulnerable, vulnerable lyrics where I'm, yeah. It's more. It's not like exactly like something they s- did or like specific. Mm-hmm. Just the notion. Just like, oh, you know what? Yeah, like that is something I've wanted to do, and I can see mm-hmm. how it does work on stage. Or like that is something I've been self conscious about, and it's like nobody cares if you mm-hmm. if you get up there and do that. Like, or. And I think I'm asking because, like, do you think like had you not gone to shows, do you think these same thoughts would have came to you if you just didn't go at all? No, and I think that's why it's important. Sometimes, like even if you don't feel like going to a show mm-hmm. or something, it's it, you're always gonna walk away from that show a little bit more inspired or something. Right, right, one hundred percent. Yeah, I think I think it's easy if you don't go to shows. It's easy to forget that a show is a very unique experience. You know, mm-hmm. um, even if it's not very good. Yeah, even <laughs> yeah. if it's a you know, bad and show, like, like it's a unique. It's it really is an experience, and you do walk away from it at least taking something away from it yeah and it's easy to forget that if you don't go often and you just want to stay home and stuff and then you're like you know you're less and less in- inspired to go right. out so it's- yeah i mean there's all kinds of ways you can be inspired by it just by i mean everything you named even was, um was yeah. there any particular show you've been to recently that inspired you like schaefer in particular um Shaver hasn't gone to shows as much as I have. I've gone to more shows lately than I have. Lately. Yeah. Is there anyone that you went to previously that you were like, you know what, that's that's something cool that I should implement? Oh, Whether man, it was like, I feel like there was something. I mean, if you can't think of it, like if anything, it's weird because, I mean, as a guitarist, I've known, and we we've tried this, but I remember some show they used like vocal effects a lot. Okay. And I thought that, and we we've been. You know, we have a, a pedal for that. But mm-hmm. that, to me, is, is... I feel like that's something people don't do enough. I mean, usually, I, I've only seen pretty big artists do that kind of stuff, you know, performing, in terms of, like, using a lot the of delays effects. and reverbs on their vocals I, live. I was recording a video for someone. I'm I'm not going to leave the person on name for now because the video's not out. But um, And he had, like, two mics set up and then had this, like, straw-looking situation in the other mic. Yeah, a vocal so box. Like, yeah, a voice yeah. box. Yeah. And it, like, did this cool. thing, this cool thing with his voice. Yeah. And then I – okay, so I saw that, and I was like, wow, that's, like, the second time I've ever seen that in my life. And I was at a show recently where someone had that. And I was like, okay. whoa. Like, that's at a show, too. Yeah. And I didn't realize it. Yeah. But, yeah, they had it, and I, I thought that was cool. But, yeah, I guess to, like, go off of, what, you know, same question for you, like, what – I remember that reminds me. I remember when we saw Ta- uh, Tally Hall. Oh yeah, oh, they were gonna say. You. I thought you were gonna say uh, Tyler. Swift. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler Swift, the creator. Tyler, Tyler Hall. Swift, the. Wait, um, Tally Hall. They Tyler did Hall. That, the, the group. The megaphone or no? But even the group. Oh. I remember. I don't remember who it was, but the group that opened for them. The guy. I almost remember. He likes 
sang into like a telephone or something. Yes. What? But I, I don't remember that. how he got but the, the, like the signal of... through the the audio system, but he had yeah. like an old yellow like telephone. And that was like 15 years ago. And that was a long ago. time ago. And I don't remember. I, but I, stuff like that, that's a detail from the show that stuck yeah. with me. That's because yeah, I yeah. thought, oh, it sounded. It wasn't just the gimmick, anything gimmicky about it. It was the yeah, fact that no, like it that's cool. sounded cool. I don't remember what it, that's really exactly cool. he did, but yeah, because we have our vocal pedal now. Um, There's another little tiny tangent about like being forgetful. I brought my vocal pedal to L.A. and you forgot, <laughs> and the then I didn't bring power the cable. power cable to the show. And we'll talk about L.A. in a bit. <laughs> but yeah, there's a there's a bad. I mean, but it turned out to be good. Yeah, anyway, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, vocal vocal pedal was or that's cool. What when in particular has like inspired you? I know I, I know you like kinda talked about what you know what does, but like is there any show that you recently that you thought about? Oh stuff my goodness. With? What have I seen recently? Gosh, what shows have we been to uh, <laughs> uh I mean, yeah, probably like I, I I can't think of like specifically Like the Austin show? That yeah, th- I mean that was definitely mm-hmm. that's like I feel like very Gen Z. I'm I'm like I'm a millennial, but <laughs> those darn Gen there's Zers. something to be said, <laughs> yeah, about like the lyrics that that show were very like, or I don't know, just the whole show was kind of vulnerable. Yeah. So kind of yeah, just yeah. to be like, uh, yeah, people do want to hear this. People do want something relatable because yeah. sometimes, like when I first started writing songs, they were so cryptic. <laughs> they were just like. I took everything that I wanted to say and made it like a secret message because I'm like, I don't want anybody to know what I'm actually feeling. But now I'm like, yeah, who wants to hear that? They had to pick it apart. (laughs) Yeah, right? I mean, which I do like some lyrics like that. I really do. Like, I feel like one artist that's always inspired me is Fiona Apple, the way like, I mean, Mm, she does say. I do know who that is, yeah. Yeah, she does say like what she feels, obviously, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But just the way she writes is like so cool. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I feel Super that. Super poetic and yeah. So through writing um for this EP, I guess, uh, is there a song that's been like your favorite to write for? And I guess what are are you able to say? I guess we'll release this after the yeah. EP. So I mean, what I you're going to get it going on much. the line? But is there a favorite you have? Um, Shiver, do you have a favorite? I'll think. Hmm, man, uh, we have a song called "You're the Noise." Which is kind of fun because it's like upbeat. I don't, yeah, I don't think I have a favorite. Um, you don't have a favorite? He hates it all. He hates it's just none of it impresses hates it. me. No. Uh, uh, favorite, yeah. Or the one we're writing now is kind of cool. So we're like almost done with this one, but we don't know the name. I like each one when I'm working on it and then I'm done mm-hmm. and I like the next Keep one. So it's like I don't have a favorite. You know what? Maybe Running Without Me? That's your favorite? I, yeah. I It I might be the most yet. like I'm yeah. happy with it the most so far. Like. Yeah, honestly. Just in terms of the mix so far. They're all so different. That's cool. It's like a yeah. bunch of children and you have to all love them all the same. <laughs> honestly, it sounds crazy, but sometimes I forget which ones we've done so far. So I'm like, when I try to think of which one might be fi- my favorite, I can't think of any of them. I guess Is that like... your first time making an EP where like something's, everything's like so different in each? They're, well, are they different? First EP. I don't know. Yeah, I guess this is. No, never mind. The one we did in the studio was, things okay. were pretty, pretty different. different. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so, so I mean, you guys, you guys don't, you don't really have a favorite necessarily out of all of it. Um, I think running, running right without now, you. running without. It's called yeah. running without me. Okay. Yeah, that one's probably cool. my favorite. I don't think, like I said, it's almost like they're so different. There's like pros and cons to each of them. Like even mm-hmm. Beach Day, I'm like. There are so many words in that song. There's a lot of there's, <laughs> there's so okay. Many words. There was a word when we were filming that that like, I, I was like, wait, what word is that? And I think I asked. Is it you, infin, infinite infinitesimal? Like, yeah, I'm gonna butcher it now. Infinitesimal. Infinitesimal. <laughs> I, I honestly I thought that was like a name. I was no, like, it's I, like I, I like, um, don't know what that word is. Does it mean small? There's gonna be people on here like, dude, you don't know that word. Come on, I I've think known that word. T- I think it means small. tiny. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, it means tiny. I think. How'd you? Wait, where did you come up with that word? Have you known that word or what? Um, cause I well, because it like kind of described what I wanted to say. Um, and I wanted to to express tiny, but like a lot, a lot of mm-hmm. tiny things. What is? <laughs> I guess you got you got to give them better context. So I know tiny, I'm like, how much do I say? Beach is all about tiny little things. <laughs> tiny little <laughs> tiny fish. Tiny little things. <laughs> sand. It's about sand. <laughs> sand particles. Itsy bitsy <laughs> grains of sand. Yeah, I should have just said sand part. It's a song about sand. It's a song about <laughs> how tiny sand is. 
No. Well, okay. So the song. I'll I've just been say this. Fun. The, yeah, <laughs> the song Beach Day is kind of. I've been saying this because it sounds cool, but it's also genuine. It's about ideals and idols. Oh, <laughs> see? ideals. Schaefer's like boring. <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry. Hate um, it. Yeah. Awful. Like, Bad. Skip. Next. I, I'm trying to think, and that's why I say like some of it's about like. Like I said, mental health is like uh, such a wide thing, but it could, it's mm-hmm. like the human experience is kind yeah. of yeah. No, um, I think that's important. But it's about like yeah, the the concept of the song. If I could like summarize the whole thing, mm-hmm. just like the idea of perfection and like oh, I'll be happy when this happens. I'll be happy when this mm. happens. Um, and just like these like perfect things we feel like we need to get. Whether it's like yeah, the perfect beach day, or like the perfect. Uh, that's like a. Do you think that comes from societal ideals? Um, well, social media obviously is one. Uh Um, I don't know if it, it it was a very personal song to me, Mm. but for sure. Yeah. Like, I mean, for me, I, I don't know. I think I was chasing for a long time, like, um, perfection, Mm -hmm. I guess. And then it's like, the more you do that, the less, the more you fall off the track of it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that's that can't happen. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. When you when you start being envious of like what other people have, the experiences they have, like it just makes you miserable. So <laughs> yeah. you kind of like, or when you just like have these high, like there's this lyric and it's like, kept, I kept track of numbers and aim for goals, mm-hmm. but all that was never what freed our souls. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like yeah, like yeah, you like just keep one. trying and trying to get to where you want to go, but like you're not, you don't feel <laughs> yeah, fun and. There free at all yeah yeah i guess i guess here let's let's do this then is there another part of the song like another stretch of the lyrics that you would want to explain about it oh yeah like so like literally the first lyrics are i've been at the beach all day Mm -hmm. but i can only tell you it's temporary yeah yeah what is that about i mean yeah literally like any kind of like perfect thing in life is temporary yeah so yeah that kind of sums up a lot like i mean it's it's worth obviously doing your best i think the next AI is temporary are, use it while it's yeah, here right. yeah <laughs> i think the next part is like worth a sweat if you're that type so it's like yeah it's not like i'm saying it's not worth it to try hard in life and to like you know enjoy yourself like when you do ha- get nice things or have mm-hmm. nice experiences but like yeah it's worth the sweat worth the energy yeah the it's, blood, worth, the sweat, it's worth the, the energy uh yeah i don't know my mind is the but then the rest of it yeah i mean there's a there's a, like i said there's so every time i sing that song in per- person i'm like sometimes i even tell the audience i'm like i wrote all wrote all these lyrics but i'm probably gonna forget some <laughs> i haven't yet i haven't yet yeah um yeah like what is the 26th I lyric the 26th of yeah, the just, uh, um, see you forgot i think if people 34 if people <laughs> listen to it they'll be able to pick it apart and that'll be interesting yeah um maybe somebody will cover it i want people to cover my songs I want you've to... had that happen though yeah i had that happen once that was with that so far song right Stoneface. uh or did someone oh wait it's twice twice oh yeah somebody covered 24 pack and somebody covered Stoneface. oh yeah Cool. That's crazy. Because then I can kind of see. Yeah. But also just in, with lyrics, I always like to hear what other people mm-hmm. get out of them. I think that's cool. Yeah. What do you What do you like? I guess you kind of answered, right? But like, what do you hope people walk away with from that, from Beach Day? Um. Like, how, how do they feel? What do they, like, what do, they, what do you Oh, think? from that song in particular? Yeah. Uh, well, I was going to say inspired, but I need no, my. probably fair. I need my thesaurus so I can find some more, like, infinitesimal. <laughs> Uh, lyrics um i mean any just um to feel like they've been seen yeah that's fair yeah to yeah. feel like they to feel like you know they have words maybe for what they've been trying to express or something mm-hmm. I don't know. you have you share that same sentiment Schaefer? yeah i think so yeah what um which actually yeah wait you wrote this song he wrote Beach Day? <laughs> not the lyrics. That's hilarious. I'm like, oh, I'm explaining yeah, yeah, no, all yeah, these. Like, Schaefer wrote those. I honestly, for, <laughs> I, no, I, 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 wrote, he did all this, but I, I know everything about yeah, it. Yeah, right? You wrote the, like, Yeah, I wrote music. everything you're talking about. No, you wrote uh, the music. Yes, I yes. forgot I wrote the music for it. Schaefer wrote the music. And I, I just had the lyrics and I put them down. Yes. Yeah. Wait, so how did you, how did that, that happen, start? That happens a lot. Uh, 
I wrote the music and I gave it to her. <laughs> and then she sang over it. When I, I think said, of okay, good. I, I'm a very literal person, but and it might just be because I was in like the, a couple music classes as a kid, and I remember them them trying to teach us like notes mm-hmm. and like the actual music notes and stuff like that. And I remember trying to read music. Yeah. So when I think of writing music, I think of like the notes. And, like, obviously, uh, that's not that's what you're like talking compo- about, but that's what comes into Did my mind. Did you ever have um, a teacher that would ha- have the whole class say, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta? The learning rhythm. Ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ti, ti, ta. No. You, like, learn syncopate. I grew up playing cello for a little bit. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. And not many people know that. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know. So you have some musical... A little bit, and then I realized it wasn't for me. Okay. I think I learned, you know what? I think there's a song called, or it's not a song, but it's a track called Allegro. It's like a very, it's a okay. musical composition of sorts. Um, isn't but, that like fast? Isn't Allegro like a tempo? I mean, it's a term, a musical tempo? term too, yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, it might be that, but that was what we learned. Like, I remember the first few chords and like how it sounded. Oh, okay. I could probably so still totally play it if I found a cello somewhere. Oh, nice. But like, not the whole song. I remember like, learning the first like 10 seconds and then being like oh not my thing yeah okay but yeah yeah. it's not for everyone it's a lot i mean even with guitar i'm like Mm -hmm. he he (laughs) (laughs) i'm sorry even with guitar this guy's an idiot he practiced he he can practice guitar for so long um i actually don't anymore though but practice once in a while after you ended up in the hospital you stopped (laughs) (laughs) he he did for a different reason but yes Um, um and he that that's not as serious as it sounds. I mean, I guess it was kind of scary. I guess, yeah. But like trauma. We he don't has know. more he has more like patience with guitar mm, and like that's passion. Okay. Passion and patience. I am like, "Oh my gosh, I'm never going to freaking mix a Lydian scale or whatever. I'm well, not yeah. going to Yeah. I just can't wrap my head around it. So yeah. So I'm just not as musically Technically, like we were talking about tech. Yeah, yeah tech. tech. You're the techiest person. Music tech. He's got <laughs> Music it. tech. Yeah. I mean, really, the, a lot a of that stuff. Sorry, for, it's it's not that important either. I'm, I'm not like, like technically. No. Don't smash it. No, don't smash it. Leave him. I'll let him. Just live. leave. Leave the spider. I'll let him He's a zen. <laughs> He's zen. What uh, were you saying, Trevor? Sorry. I'm not a real technical musician either. A lot of that stuff you don't have to well, worry about. Well, more know. than me though. Yeah, I know. Like but, he you can, know, he, you do yeah. your own thing. You've, um, I can't write lyrics, or I don't write lyrics. So yeah. You're like, I can, but I don't. What? I can, <laughs> but I let you do that little thing. <laughs> Wait, so uh, I guess going off that, too, like, what... Let's talk about, like, some of the other songs. Okay. Um, You were talking about... What was the one called, again, your favorite? Song? Running Without Me. Running Without Me. What uh, What is that? What is that one about? What, uh, what that, that kind song? of, like, yeah, going off of that was, like, it's a lot more vulnerable, a lot more personal. I kind of... I mean, I guess there's a little, like, metaphor in it, but it's mm-hmm. much more like, hey, this is uh pretty... Not that, like... I mean, it can be about... Anybody can relate to it. It's not, like, mm. specifically something that happened to me. <laughs> but no. <laughs> uh, it's much more, re- like, you can, it's a. It's kind of, like, about, um, I'm trying to think, <laughs> like, how, how I would word it. I'm not going to say human experience again. But, like, yeah, like, relationships and just kind of, like, mm-hmm. yeah. It's much more um, open to, like, it's pretty bold. Is it a pretty, pretty, like, it was, the title speaks for the song, you would say, or? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, uh-huh. Running without me. Yeah. I'm trying now. I'm trying to like, cause, cause we like very recently wrote. I'm trying to think. Oh, of wow. Like what the chorus and verse like. I started almost singing. It. Oh, leak, leak! <laughs> You're yawning so much. Yawning again, yeah. He's yawning because <laughs> he's lost another, so much. The boring sleep. podcast. Should have had another coffee. No, no, no. Schaefer just runs on Duncan. It's it's. Yeah, it's America. It's, I run away from Duncan. Runs. You on. do. That's, Are you Starbucks? I'm joking. That's, oh. the, that's the crazy people across the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got I to gotta bleep uh, that part out. Uh-oh. Bleep. Uh-oh. Oh. I get it. Oh. Oh. But don't. Sh- um. Oh, wait, <laughs> but, wait. Let me. Sorry. Let me just, like, think of these lyrics. <laughs> go for it. Think of the lyrics. But while, while think, you're thinking think, about that. Think, think. Um, what I guess. Yeah, yeah. So it as it all relates to. You said the whole album kind of relates to, like, a mental health. 
Like encouragement. You know what? I feel like all these songs are trying to be like encouraging. Encouraging from like a mental health aspect yes. of it yeah yes <laughs> you're helping me figure out what my ep is about <laughs> <laughs> just keep throwing digging. the questions just keep, just, just uh, yes around. yes that's what it is yeah, yeah no for real though that's cool that's cool i guess yeah. yeah run me what was the song so you you sent me a song uh a while back i know it's not may, may or may not be finished now but it has kind of some like old recordings in it <gasps> yeah what a, what why haven't I mentioned that? Oh, yeah, that's that song okay, is fire. Wait, wait, but that's going. We're gonna. I'm gonna try to incorporate this. Future Caroline will be listening to this, and hopefully, she's already done this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying to implement more. So I, part of I feel like my vibe has been kind of like, not nostalgia. Would you say nostalgia? You guys I are both very nostalgic. I people. think it's kind of cool. Like I've all. Okay, I gotta start saying like. Yeah, no, if and buts are like. <laughs> I say I famously say like oh, on this podcast. I filmed a podcast with a friend of mine to. recently, and I I say like a hundred times. Hard not to, but I'll change it to just say like 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 like, such like, like as say like a whole bunch right now. Like, get it out of your slow. system. Get it all out. <laughs> like, 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 such like, as blah, 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 blah. such as VHS tapes. Therefore, therefore, henceforth. <laughs> I if you see thus me far. It, thus, thus far. far if you have you know, my phone autocorrected happened we failed the english paper already <laughs> my yeah. phone autocorrected <laughs> happened to happenstance the other day as if that's a word i use happenstance but happenstance. it means the same thing as coincidence so i'm gonna start using that like happenstance oh my gosh i ran into my friend the happenstance right? <laughs> is that how you use it you just say happenstance i'll just say this is, i'm wearing overalls so this happenstance um, i mean i know the word it's just one of those words and you never Use. so one of these uh what was i saying one of like the things that i just like if you see me recently i'm carrying around a dv camera all the time i'm trying to like go back to where it all began where back i used to, to like roots. back to my roots where you like filmed with you know vhs or dv cams it's and, a really good feeling uh yeah, yeah. just kind of you know uh so one of the things i did was and to be honest yeah this this came to me while i was working one day we were mm -hmm. like, listening to like music and stuff um i honestly might have been listening to to edm music at the place i work i won't say where i work i don't want to tell people where i work tell the internet <laughs> I used to work what is the address of, of that yeah, place right? address <laughs> but and, yeah. it for some some reason i'm like oh my god you know it'd be so cool like to incorporate sounds from back then because yeah i was watching a vhs tape Really, I was listening to it because I took the audio from it and put mm -hmm. it into these songs of a party that was going on at my aunt's house in 1989. So before I was born. Wow. People sound different. Yeah, they do. They do. Like everything sounds different. I mean, I'm sure a lot of there's so much talking probably because nobody's on their phone. Yeah. <laughs> people are actually looking at each other. People are normal um, humans. Just the way people talk is like, and that doesn't even have to do with accents or anything. No, just people. That's just, I've, no. I've it's definitely so noticed that. vibrant. I've noticed that from finding this, you know, people or there's like old uh, home videos or tapes on yeah. YouTube that the people have, or people just like film in the '90s or '80s, and people spoke differently. Yeah, and I can't put my finger on what it is. And I want to talk. It's like gonna that. sound crazy, but like even as someone that does like video stuff. It's weird that I didn't, like, grow up being like, let me see this silent film. Let me see what this film's about. Yeah. So, like, one of the first classes I had was in high school, and it was a film class I was in. And they, I remember the first, like, few weeks of the course, they were playing old films from, like, the 60s and 70s and 80s. It was, like, we were literally by the week going, like, 60s, 70s, yeah. 80s. And, like, we saw some silent films. We saw some that weren't silent. And the ones that weren't silent stuck out to me like a sore thumb because I was – hearing these people talk yeah i'm like i, I was like is, is this the audio like what what is this why, yeah. why are these people sounding like this and i i remember having that thought in my head but not yeah. vocalizing it because i was like someone's gonna say something and be like what are you talking about yeah yeah but I, I cannot pinpoint like it was it was like they almost like you could almost get them to like change their voice yeah what it feels like yeah it's very weird i cannot i don't know what it is i don't know what changed it's like i an wonder if it has what? to do first of all with lack of social media and smart and smartphones and thing technology i mean i've then. said poggers do so, you before <laughs> <laughs> i don't know maybe people were more you know um uh 
there was more of a universal culture back then, popular yeah. culture. Everything now is on social media and sort of more fragmented. So people, so I also much. wonder back then too. So first of all, yeah, I wonder if people were just more social then. Mm-hmm. They were more eloquent when they they were more articulate when they spoke. But also, I wonder how many um, distinct, you know, accents and regional accents and dialects are gone now. That maybe yeah, yeah true. And there's a lot of accents that are. There's whole languages much gone. <laughs> there yeah, are, but for even real. in American English, yeah. there's accents that have kind of died out. You know, that's um, true. That's true. Yeah, I, I don't know. And it's yeah, it's not even. And it's not even like when you say like articulate and art. It's not even like they were like fancy people. It's just like, I don't know. There's a lot more people now. I know this, and they maybe just... it's, this is a controversial take, but <laughs> generally across the board, the I feel podcast. like people now. There's almost more. Uh, people are almost lazier when they speak I and am, there's almost for more sure. vocal oh, yeah, cry. I'm definitely lazier yeah almost like more, and i'm just across you know the sex yeah it's just like more vocal fry and more just um like jk <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah um just in general you know uh, yeah that's fair i feel that and maybe i just just i don't know what the difference is and maybe i'm exaggerated maybe i'm wrong but no no that's um, fair something i'm and sounded and the, the thing about, like, nostalgia, yeah, I hate to be like, things were better then. I don't even I mean it that way. Day. It's just kind of cool, <laughs> and I wanted to incorporate it somehow. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I've been looking through more VHS, because that one, I, I'm done. I took that party, the the sound from that party, put it, the song is called Miles Off the Line, uh-huh. put it in the background, and now I found a couple more things, because I want to kind of incorporate through that through the, through the whole album. Like, sorry, I like... <laughs> So tell me about this album. I was like, I wanted to answer. Answer, answer the damn Answer part. me. I keep pointing it away. <laughs> Incorporating it through the whole album. We'll see what he thinks. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, so tell me. What you, what I'm pointing think? it away from me. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you can't oh, you do can not a big his... oh. he's, he's, got, he's got to go to rest. He's looking away now. <laughs> uh, incorporating it. You know what? See, I, I feel like even that's an example. I like mumble a lot, too. Mm. People, people used to not mumble. mumble <laughs> no one ever mumbled. <laughs> no one mumbled before. No one mumbled before 2010. No, but like, I feel like. It's a new thing. Ev- like, everyone. Nobody said Once like so much. AOL no, people did say like <laughs> yeah, less. Right. They said like less. Oh, what's that spider doing? Like That like, spider, I know. I, sorry, I keep looking that way. There's a spider over there. I get bit by it. They don't. I, I don't. Well, unless it's a brown recluse. We have Spiders only brown recluse don't in bite. this house. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, I think you should. Can I kill it, please? No, no people definitely. Oh. Are you pro spider? Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm Is that controversial? I'm That's a, like a hot take. I'm a spider man. <laughs> Cutting that out for the internet. Um. But okay, but wait. Yeah. So the thing that I like about that song, and this comes as a outside listener who's heard like the demo version. Yes. But the thing that I like about it is like that. There's something comforting about that background noise. Yeah. When you listen to it, because like for me, I think our, I think my like all collectively i've heard this isn't just a take from me like i've heard this from other people too but um like they say like now like there's tiktoks where people have to have like multiple things happening at once yeah so for me like you guys have heard me talk about this before but, like i have a streamer on yeah. and i'm editing where it's like i have, to have like these multiple things going on and that that's true. part of that song kind of serves that into my brain <gasps> while i'm listening to it which i think is really cool because yeah. i'm like background noise and that Ooh. and it's cool i think it's like and I do think that could be like a cool idea for you to expand on to like, you know, it throughout making more stuff too. Having that in the back is like, kind of like serves that part of your brain where you're like, this is a comfort zone of like, and for people that are like that are like lonely or something like that too, maybe that they feel like comfort in like outside background noise around them. But they're like, I get to enjoy this music too, and yeah, it like yeah. you almost Definitely, you like subconsciously even though it's happening you subconsciously blank out. The background noise, because you your brain kind of excuses it as like mountain society. I'm that's kind of why, world. yeah. That's kind of why I was worried too about how it would mix. Yeah. No, and, and like I said, that's why I'm, I just heard the demo, so I don't I don't know how the actual mix is. 
Maybe but that's I, like a scientific breakthrough. No, I think that could. I think yeah. that's a really good idea because that always sticks out to me in music. When yeah. That kind of things. Not even just back. You know, even just sound effects, whatever background. You know, something that can um, take you to another place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 It was that. But can work as background music, like you said. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be too. Mm -hmm. on the nose about it it doesn't have to shove it in your face what is that song what is that song about um now i gotta think of that song miles off the line so it's kind of uh this uh yeah let's see what do i want to say about that song um it's definitely kind of just about having somebody who ha isn't in your life anymore mm, okay um kind of maybe just parts of yourself or people that you kind of had to let go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Much. Um, not that they won't come back or whatever, but mm -hmm. yeah. Was that you? Like entirely wrote that one, or you guys collectively yeah, write I it? Uh, cool. did I write that whole song? Um, I think I wrote a section of it. Yeah, yeah. No, I guess this is something I I I'm just asking for myself too. Um, when you write like. Cause I, I feel like like obviously like your artist's name and all your music and everything's like tied back to you um so with that like sentiment in mind like do you like you share the same like se sentiments as these songs to Schaefer or like I know that Caroline's writing them too like from like whether it's experiences or things that are like going on in your life like do you think do you see like the similar like similar things that are happening in your life as well Definitely, as yeah with these you songs know, it's it's a lot of them are they're such universal themes that mm -hmm. hmm. I've never asked you, know, you for that. I think I feel like that's what makes them powerful. Mm -hmm. um, Have you ever like, I mean like the reason I asked too is like y you mentioned earlier that you're going, you're the guy that kind of goes back in songs and you're like, Oh, I need to oh, yeah, this yeah, I like, done Have you ever been that. like gone back and been like, oh, maybe we should change these lyrics now. Cause I got this part of the song or like anything like that. Um, yeah, do you like my lyrics? Yeah, or I've like, never had that thought though. I never thought about like changing. Never. No. I wonder if I have. And I hate to say it, it's probably because I'm focusing so much on my part. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like most critical. Like I'm very just mm -hmm. like making it work for your lyrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And from my end, I'm that's... always just like more critical of my aspect of it. Right. And that's why I tend to obsess over it. Mm, that's but, fair. Um, yeah. Definitely, I mean, her lyrics, um, like I said, they're so universal that, like, and it, it, it definitely has an effect while I'm I'm working on a mix or something. You know, right. While I'm recording. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, in terms of, like, the, uh, what it can evoke, the kind of atmosphere it can evoke mm -hmm. for yeah. even a particular part of a song, a particular few seconds of a song or something. Okay, that makes sense. Um, cool. So that, I mean, it has that effect. Do you think um so so do you think that like through through that I guess is that like is there other songs that you have taken part in the lyrics or the lyrics are hundred percent you for this EP? Um the only time Schaefer will do wait, you're asking if he has ever? Yeah, like is Schaefer is there any part in this EP particularly that Schaefer oh, wrote some no, of the lyrics hundred so. percent you? It's hundred percent me. I mean there's definitely times where I'm like which which of these verses yeah, do you I'll think? Give oh my wait, wait yeah. like between that you should put in the song you should put in the like, song. Like I'll be like which one I mean if I'm like super honest, I'll be like, Oh, is this too cheesy or is like this Yeah. Like do you have an um, example? Yeah, like well, the song we're writing right now. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So, okay. Is this <laughs> yeah. on the EP? Yeah, the song that we're writing right now. Um, yeah, it's gonna be on there. Cool. It originally like, I got like the beat for it, the kind of the chords, mm -hmm. but the lyrics that I had in place were just like not. I felt like I could do so much better. I felt mm. like there was so much more I wanted to say than what I was saying. Interesting. Um, it was kind of about like a little bit about like panic. So yeah, one thing about side note about mental health, like the reason I want to talk so much about it is I struggle so much with mental health, mm -hmm. like and stuff. So I think it, yeah. So mm -hmm. anything that I've overcome or anything, it can be encouraging, but this song sp particularly was a little bit more like kind of about like anxiety, panic disorder type things. And I was just like, you know what? Like, there's so much, there are some different things I, I kind of want to say at this point. Mm. Cause like I, I've kind of already touched on those subjects. So, right. Um, okay. so now kind of like rewriting this song, it's kind of re just building a song together. So I'm definitely getting Schaefer's input on like 
how do you think these lyrics are going to vibe with this? Would, would, you oh, know? Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Okay. I have, that like, doesn't answer my question. Yeah. Which is kind of a big kind of peek into this because I don't know if that's like a good or bad thing to like reveal how we are building a song. I don't know if that sounds like I'm cheating. I guess I'm not cheating in any way. <laughs> You're I don't know how to be cheating. F. Because I'm You're like, cheating. oh, I wrote this song. Now I'm taking it back apart. <laughs> I, that's that has not that doesn't sound like cheating at all. I don't no. think that's I don't know what it's, would qualify it's more as cheating like, when it comes not to not cheating. Kids. What's the word? Um Backtracking? not professional. No, no. <laughs> I think <laughs> not professional. Not professional. I don't know what I don't know no, what teeters I, on professional and not professional. I mean, uh, thing is, as long as you're not a, using chat GPT to write songs. Yeah. Is that chat GPT? Yeah. No, not not professional. Um that I'm trying okay, here's the thing. I'm not like trying to cater to anyone that's what i'm trying to gotcha. like i'm not being like oh this song nobody's gonna like this song that i i'm not happy with this song so it's right. not like i'm like yep, yep, yep. Ooh, how do i get more streams yeah. i'm gonna make this song about this no that's not what i mean i just feel like there's different things i want to say yeah 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 <laughs> it's i think i i think that's important too i think that's like a good thing for people to like take away too if anyone's like an you know if you're a singer songwriter listening to this too i think that's a good takeaway like you know, it, come, it comes back to you. Don't just, like, do it for the streams. I think that's the yeah. world we're in right now. Yeah, like, you're for hearing sure. a lot of, like, what, what, we'll do it for the thing. What, we'll do it for the the TikTok. Or Ugh. people making, like, little 15-second songs just for TikTok because they know it'll I do can. well in the algorithm. Things like that. And I think it comes off cheesy because it's, like, you know, it's not for them. Yeah. It's mm. it's just for the algorithm. They're yeah. feeding it that. It is, yeah. It has yeah, nothing to do with them. So I think keeping it, like, personal. I think, too, oftentimes when people do hear a song that's, like, personal – yeah. They have a better chance to relate to it than they do something that's like even those people are sharing exactly. it, people share mindless shit. So oh, yeah. Just doing something for yourself, people are like, Yeah, that hey, that's me too. Yeah. Like I've definitely like there's songs like I've I've said this to like for example, Austin mm -hmm. like a few different times now, where like there's songs of hers that I'll just play. Yeah. And then like I'll just subconsciously play it in the car and not think a thing of it. But then like all of a sudden like later on that night I'll go home and I'll be like, Wait a minute, I do relate to that of the yeah. song. Yeah. That's and what I'm like, I mean. Yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. She wrote this song and it's all about her. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, whoa, that wouldn't like I, I didn't make that connection until I actually like, sat there and thought about it. Yeah, that's why sometimes I'm like I hesitate to like really, really tell too much about what a song's about. Because I'm like, Well, I want somebody to hear it first and then Definitely, see if they yeah. get meaning right. from it. Yeah. Right. Do you so do you like do you ever do that with Schaefer? You're like, What what does this song mean to you? Or like ask I think that. I've done that with friends and family like maybe even like my mom i'll be like what do you think this song's about what does she say she usually gets it wrong <laughs> <laughs> is it is she, too, is she too literal but, or something well that yeah maybe too literal maybe like i said it might have been older songs mm -hmm. that were more cryptic uh yeah that's fair but yeah no i mean i think i'd like people to tell me what the song means to them or what they get out of it yeah mm, because okay. because i think we just all see through a, such a specific lens we do like yeah yeah something can mean something different yeah so. yeah that's fair i guess yeah was there any other was there any other songs on the ep on talk because i want to i want to get into like the california segment oh yeah there. no yeah there's not there, it's still it's, coming along yeah it's still got a way yeah, where are you at right now no just, it doesn't <laughs> okay re re it's release almost this done. It's almost i couldn't done. say the word release i was like we're gonna blah, 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 blah. <laughs> see release brain you're talk. not like the people from the 80s who can talk better <laughs> how, do, how do the people if it was do, the 80s i wouldn't have done that if it was the 80s how do the people sound in the 80s i don't know just like so carol um <laughs> carol when are you coming over for our tupperware party like, yeah <laughs> it's just like so articulate it's not just like carol uh, damn it, get your ass over here it's not like are oh, you gonna like come over to the, for the tupperware party <laughs> like, <laughs> i definitely know it's it, it go, it's almost it imagine gets a tupperware more and party more like that the farther you go back in decades like, yeah i remember exactly. watching like uh videos of like old uh game shows from like the 50s and early 60s and like the people sound like so sophisticated when they talk. Yeah. It's like, man. I think. Yeah, they're so. You know, okay. It's they're like, so sophisticated. <laughs> they're so sophisticated. I think. Wait, I do want to touch on that. Bring in the California thing. It's uh, like they're putting more thought behind. Yes. They're putting more. Uh -huh. They're yeah. think I don't they're, know putting more thought into their words and passion. I think that's something really cool about you guys that stands out to me, with both of you than most people is like you guys are very nostalgic people and you guys enjoy stuff like from the past a lot and it kind of is a theme throughout our music video too 
um and it's kind of like the, yeah, the vibe yeah. we're going for mm-hmm. and i think that's really cool but i i do like i guess i'm asking for myself too not only just like the podcast but um what like why do you think that is like what is it that like you guys really like that sticks out to you about like looking back and you i mean you sort of answered it earlier but i guess i'm asking just for a more like general answer like what is it that makes you guys kind of like look back and be like oh yeah that or like i need to take out my old camera because of that or you know what i mean um i don't know do you have an answer is there something that I, like, i'm thinking of it from like a creative perspective when i think of, okay really and quick from a almost social, yeah, social like or cultural perspective too my creative perspective is that limitation breeds creativity i know that's been Same said here. over Definitely. and over and I would over just say that that's yeah. fair yeah because it's like now you have so much you can do i mean like the example i always give is like when i first started making music and i had like a tiny little Lego Studios camera, barely anything I could use. Mm-hmm. And I, it was so easy to just create. And now, you know, you open Logic and you have like a million things you, <laughs> you can You could get like symphony strings in yeah. like five seconds. Just and like, yeah. so, and same thing with like video editing. We pick up our phone and we can film. Yeah. But yeah. like back then, I had to beg my parents to buy me a DV camera. I had to like buy those little tapes. I had to put upload them to my computer if i wanted to edit like a movie and and it was just so much more it felt like a craft rather than just like old camcorders had good mics on them too yeah yeah Yeah. so that's one thing um because i never like to be like nostalgia like oh i wish things were like the way they used to be like because it's (laughs) like yeah get over it they're not going to be (laughs) (laughs) like yeah i don't don't want my music to sound old you know you know or like yeah and it's like i can do in in, in my power to like kind of appreciate those things like yeah you guys appreciate in a really really cool unique way i think that like reflects on your like overall like style with like music yeah that's the creative part as far as culturally i don't think yeah i think the creative thing it's like what it is is because it's like okay i don't i don't want my creative output to sound old or overly sure. nostalgic. That's fair. That's, I, no. There's a lot of music like that. that I don't like modern bands that just sound like, oh, they sound like a band from the 70s. Yeah, because like, it's kind like... Of, yeah. But for me, it's almost like my problem, maybe this is people disagree, but I feel like the world we hot live in... Hot take time from Schaefer. Hot take oh. time. No, I just feel that the world we live in right now in the 21st century, specifically in the 2020s, mm-hmm. is one that does not foster uh it does not easily foster art you know in in many ways because of just the nature of 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 social media and and technology it's sort of um it sounds really cheesy but it kind of makes everything into a commodity you know it's Mm -hmm. just like everybody everybody can do anything now because it's so easy but Mm -hmm. the total output is huge and the actual quality and uniqueness of anything is mm. lowered. So to me, when I look to the past, it's it's almost like you have to look to it for um, creative uh, method. That's know? fair. Oh, I get yeah. that. And I do that's get what that. it is. Is it's not nostalgia. It's just like you have to. It the world today is hard to make any sense of, yeah. and it doesn't foster creativity very well. Mm-hmm. Um, so you almost have to find more methods to circumvent that uh-huh. in a way. Um, I have to give you a lot of credit for how well you've been able to hold that mic, like a perfect <laughs> distance from your mouth. I, I keep <laughs> getting worried because sometimes I'll have it. I don't know how like, you've oh, done wait. that. And then I'm like, oh. Well, uh, your audio is not really peaking. It's doing pretty well. Okay, good. I was worried that I was that either peaking or down, like. That's probably fine. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's my creative perspective on it. That's a yeah. really. Yeah. I've actually never heard that from anyone before. Um, that's a that's a very cool outlook to have. I I get that actually. It probably it probably makes, not in a way of like dumbing it down, but like it probably simplifies, the like overall, way of putting things together. Yeah, it's you almost think of it like it's harder to be creative, these days. That you know? yeah yeah and yeah. That sounds really or cheesy original and, and, too. or original definitely original. You'd say it's easier to be creative. I mean, there's even now, like lawsuits yeah. for that stuff now. You, like what was that lawsuit with what's his name recently? Oh Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Yeah, yeah there's like yeah. there's just like people like going after people. He actually won that lawsuit. What was the yeah. lawsuit over? Uh, someone it was, was, there uh, lyri- was that? his lyrics like this too similar to, or I don't the know. Guitar I have no chord, idea. The guitar something or lyrics oh guitar or, okay. I think it was like yeah something with the guitar chords were like 
the same thing. From oh, was it Marvin Gaye? Marvin Gaye, like yeah. too similar to a Marvin Gaye song or something. Yeah, I don't know. oh, I remember that. I not good. It's beef. <laughs> That's um, my hot take. Not good. Not good. Hot take. This is not good. <laughs> what is your hot take? Uh, well, I want to spill out all your hot takes. <laughs> oh, I have Let so out. many. Let them out. Maybe we should my do a hot, hot takes take podcast. Is... That, we'll also do that. Be a funny yeah, thing. hot take. Oh, my gosh. Hot we takes. should because I, ha- I can write all my down. Let's do that. Um, <laughs> I So I guess, yeah, so that that kind of makes sense as it kind of correlates to the whole EP. Yeah. Um, that kind of like brings it all together, I guess. Was there anything else about like, before, I want to move into like the California yeah, stuff. Yeah, we can. But before we, we get into that, that though, is there anything else that like you guys want to share about the EP that you think people should know or something that you feel is like an important detail about it that. Um, after this, we're giving up. <laughs> yeah, after this, it's a. Uh... It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. No. Washed up and uh... retired and gone. We were so burnt out, but then, and then we decided to do this. And we're still yeah. burnt out. We're doing it. I'll be happy when it's done. And I don't mean that like I want to get it over. No, we're just you excited. Be, I'll be it. proud of it. We're like excited. You your and I want to move yeah. on to other things. We you know, move on to other friends. Is. I want to. <laughs> no, we're, st- we're just super excited about it. Yeah, I am excited. Because it's like, it's it. coming from us. Not to, to say anything about any studio we've ever worked with, but like it's coming straight from us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah yeah, yeah you guys at are home. at home doing this, and yeah. this is a yeah. new thing for you guys. Yes. Kind of scary because yeah. yeah. I don't know if I'm doing a particularly good job. Sto- <laughs> well, Stoneface was all at home, and we did a great job. Yeah, Stoneface is fire. Fabulous job. So go listen to great. Yeah, Stoneface so I just have to trust my gut. Yeah. 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 What? I guess yeah. Yeah. So what have you? What is it like through? I guess what have you learned like from just doing it home? Is it? Um. Just in general, like what what has it made it you know easier on you guys to instead of having to go out to a studio? I think you're probably saving money. Oh yeah, for sure. That. Yeah. Uh, I mean it it you can do things a lot faster if you just mm-hmm. like yeah are on your own schedule. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in a way, and it allows you to push yourself to almost like I feel like this recent the the one we're working the song we did before this running without me. Running without me, we I've did that like in a day, and I feel like because it's I've gotten yeah. better what? at just. Yeah. Pretty much, and it's not a hundred percent done. No, but it's pretty much most. That's wild. Done. Yeah, <laughs> that is so, really cool. Yeah, I've gotten wow. better. I feel like as a result, sort of, um, like being uh, not dwelling too much creatively. Yeah, like that's it, fair. It, I feel mm. like the best, some of the best output you can have creatively is stuff that you, uh, you kind of just get it out there, and you don't spend too much time. Like I said earlier, perf- trying to perfect it. Yeah. Mm. And like this, yeah, that song we did, we did really quickly. That's why we're going to. over here to make sure the spider's not working <laughs> this... really over here. I think it probably just went down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like convinced that I have like the bu- the blood there just like drawn to. Oh my God. Um, wait, continue what you're saying? Um, I think that was it, yeah, right? Was I it mean, the... yeah, we're yeah. just excited. We're all like, yeah, we're almost done. We're going to hurry up. Almost, we're going to hurry up and finish done. it. Yeah, and yeah. I, yeah, I'm I'm just excited for it to come out in general. This is the stuff I've heard, and um, yeah, and I guess that's a good segue because you know we we did the video for Beach Day. Yes, and that that was kind of crazy. Like, I was heading out to California, and simultaneously you were telling me you hadn't been out to that part of California. I right? yeah, I haven't been to L.A. And then you, same with you, right? Yeah, Saber. I hadn't been to LA. I'd only I only been so to San Francisco. I heard that, and I was like, it's like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. And then you guys were like, well, let's figure it out. And then I think we figured it out, but. I well, make things happen. We made it happen. <laughs> and it just like, it was like a matter of like a week, and we were just like. Yeah, hey, it's it was- crazy. Like, we went to a show. I remember you and I went to a show, and I was like, yeah, I want to go to LA. Like, a couple weeks later, we were, like, booking tickets to go. Yeah, yeah no, it was, we, it was fast. It happened All really of a sudden, fast. you guys just, like, Yeah, because I was like, why out. not? We can, yeah. Yeah. Life yeah. is too short. Yeah. We should, we should, I want to talk about that a little bit. Because um, I, I think that is, like, a part, it's not vulnerable, but it's, like, a part of, like, the process of the video that you don't hear, yeah, you know? Yeah, behind. Um, behind we're the scene. behind the scenes. We're we're opening up the curtains. Yeah. Okay? What should we say? Or are we or are we leaving the curtains open because the <laughs> yeah we <laughs> that's a whole thing. Everything. I have a video of that. I should post it. Yeah, no, I that, don't want to post it. But so what we're referencing here is um, the I guess one of the How first things begin? you do is when you're going on trip, you know, you're looking for where you're gonna stay, right? Yeah. 
with that in it of itself was a lot. I mean, I yeah, because it's just I. Every time I go somewhere, it lands on somebody's freaking spring break. Yeah. <laughs> somebody's spring like, break. No, there's like it's always somebody's 10 spring, spring breaks. breaks. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Everybody, like, between March and April, everybody's going on spring break at some point. I know. I know. It, yeah, it feels yeah, like it. Yeah, I know. It's just what happens yeah, when so you do that a took trip, forever. you know, it, it was It was just a bizarre that time. It was just a bizarre thing because, like, I, I remember at first I'll, you asked me, like, what, where have I been? Yeah, and I'm just comfortable with like Santa Monica area. I mean, I, yeah. No matter when I go to California, what whatever time, I end up in Santa Monica in yeah. one fashion or another. So like I've been on those streets enough that I kind of know the area. Um, not and I kind of know like the West Hollywood, North Hollywood area a little bit better now. Um, I know all of LA now. <laughs> you know all of it. Every street. <laughs> I'm so good at every, LA now. Know, Freaking every LA genius. <laughs> I know everything um, about it. And so we were. Yeah, I was kind of like, let's just do Santa Monica, and we were just searching for hotels in that area. Well, yeah, for some reason, like we were looking all over, but then for some reason, there were. I'm I'm not gonna say the name of it, right? Yeah, you can <laughs> say it. Why? There were. I don't want to. I don't. I don't, yeah, we'll I don't want to be mean. They're going through. I a don't want to be mean. <laughs> They're going through hard times at this hotel. Um, hard times. I I mean, you can. They so we like found like for some reason it was like a really good price so we we're like oh, okay let's just stay there lo and behold yeah so we get there the parking situation was awful <laughs> wait wait that was we got there and then the guy was like it, it was like the machine didn't work or something yeah. like that and then they were like oh come down here because the email had said twenty dollars a day for parking so we we're like ah well we're here like six days that's fine yeah split we it can up split it we, yeah. it's it ends up not being that much yeah, not so much. we're like cool got it and then we get down there and the guy's like cool overnight like 70 bucks i think he something said. like that plus you have to tip the person and no like in, in and out privileges all that yeah. kind in of and stuff and then they yeah in and out privilege we yeah. have like none no in and out yeah like so then we go up to the hotel room <laughs> And we thought we were out of we the woods. Almost got killed. The Dad. first thing I noticed, <laughs> yeah, who who saw it first? Me. The killer. The killer. <laughs> the murderer. <laughs> I saw the murderer. The first. first thing I noticed, I'm like, I like you know when you first walk into a ba- to a hotel room, there's like the bathroom. The first thing I noticed, I'm like, why can I see the the bed <laughs> f- pass through, through the, the through the shower? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And so we walk in and yeah, there's no wall. There's the, you can just, the shower is glass glass, and it's just, that's how you see straight into the bathroom, the toilet, everything. And so at first I'm, I was like, all right, well, we're going to get well, through this. I think, I think, I think what makes <laughs> it gonna funny, get through this I think, here's the thing that makes it funny. So a couple of things. Originally, I was going to just, like, stay somewhere else, or originally, I was going to be in uh, staying at one of my friend's places. Yeah, so. And then that didn't work out, and then we were like, oh, we could just get, like, yeah, a, let's a just hotel. Get a hotel. And then that was kind of like, we were like, all right, you know, whatever. We get, like, a, you know, a couple beds in the hotel. We're yeah. good. That's fine. And that was, like, it was like, we were already, like, sharing a hotel. Yeah, so it was, like, already going to be like, all right, it's going to be kind of cramped or whatever. Yeah, we're, like, trying to have our, still have, maintain our own, like, privacy. Yeah. Sort of. But then it was like, they were just like, let's just yank another layer of privacy Ugh. while we're at it. Ugh. So yeah. luckily I find a button and I'm like, oh, this a curtain comes down. Or like, a, no, I thought a wall came down. Wall. It's this flimsy curtain yeah, where there's a... still like this much room where you can <laughs> still side, see somebody on the through, toilet. Yeah. <laughs> so you have Definitely to trust on the your toilet. friends. Yeah, the toilet is the most exposed. You have thing. to trust your friends not to walk by the bathroom while you're going to the yeah. bathroom. Like and it, yeah, and so it's like you're kind of g- playing the trust game there. And not yeah. only that, but the sound. There was like, it was like paper thin walls. Yeah. So you could hear, if you like dare to take a footstep in that bathroom, you could just oh, hear everything. Yeah, yeah so yeah. like if you had to go to the bathroom, like everybody could hear everything. Full, full <laughs> stop, just hear everything, yeah. You could, you, yeah. We have to say the name of this place. Sure, you I'll say, say it. it. It's the Shore Hotel. <laughs> You're like I, you just, you're, you know, it's surely hear everything in there, can't you? I mean, uh, they are the most. Uh, they are an eco-friendly hotel. They're very yeah. It says it on every wall. So. And don't get fooled by the negative reviews. I'll say that. Don't be fooled. It's real stuff. Those people are cutting. Yeah, don't no, be fooled by the have, positive. Fact, yeah. fact, a negative review even talked about the expensive water bottle that. 
Oh, is they charge. Yeah. Here's the thing. Like, uh, they're probably whatever. I'm gonna try to defend them. <laughs> defend them. Like, defend them. Because they were like, they were like, well, you know, we did. We do have pictures. Like, you you should have seen that there. We had those kind of bathrooms. Yes. Yeah. I'm like okay. But, like, <laughs> All right. I, I'm not going to look at a Google photo and be like, why can I see the toilet? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and I, I don't want people to listen to this and go, oh, man, privilege. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, 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 no. That's no. not it. That, that's the thing. This. When things like this happen, I'm not like, oh, my God. I'm I just want a like, refund. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh. Yeah, we're not caring. Okay. I'll deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah but it. it's a funny story. It's it's, it's worth the shits and gigs. Yeah. yeah and then know, what like, were you saying? Yeah. It was like, you take it. Go ahead. I never wanted to bring it up because I feel like most people we've brought it up to are like, oh, yeah, like that's a normal thing. Yeah, like, that was yeah. a weird. That so I feel like people, I'm like, OK, I guess I'm just some not people, used to it. Is that like, a, if you're listening to this and you've made it here, what is like, have you heard of this thing called a peeping? A peekaboo. peekaboo Online shower? people There's were calling it a peekaboo for, shower. But also there were other names for it. Is this the vibe for 2023? You like watch your friend shower? <laughs> yeah, because it wasn't even like there were two beds in that watch room. Your friend poop. I feel, I feel like <laughs> yeah, right. Watch I feel like that's poop. like a thing. Like maybe like in an adult hotel of sorts, or like I one guess. of those yeah. kinds of where it's like ooh, you know what I mean? But yeah. it's like, sure. It's like hey. even then it's kind of like eh. But like in a normal situation, it's like. Is like I like the, when we asked people that so far, yeah. everyone was like, "Oh man!" Yeah, people like, were like, "Oh, that's yeah. that's yeah, that's, that's what we have." And we thought people yeah. were gonna be like, "Oh ha, ha that shit's hilarious." Max was so upset he bought tape, mailing tape, and literally like, tape the tape the edges yeah. of the curtain <laughs> like, to the hilarious. wall, so you don't see like it, it was bizarre. Yeah. I've never seen something like that in my life. Yeah, before. it was weird. But, but that was fine. I mean, that was yeah, that was an experience, but that was our hotel experience. And then the yeah, weren't the snacks at the bar? At the, bar in yeah like the mini the hotel, bar the snack bar the, yeah like, like went, eight bucks a pop or some yeah shit, six and then bucks they charge us for a water and i'm like we didn't we drink didn't get a water, water. They and then oh right after we had this revelation i was like i was like oh ha ha ha, ha wouldn't that be funny if the oh, internet cost oh yeah and, yeah. I was I every, it kept and then, adding up and adding while these up. two were doing something i went to like go on the internet and i was like guys Ha ha. They charge I can't for Wi-Fi. And both of you looked at me and you're like, no, you're joking. I'm like, dead ass. $10. Like, what? $10 a day for Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Each day. $10 a day. And then it was like, what, 12 or 14 15 for like. 15 for like all the, all of you can do for it. For all the devices. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like $10 for one device. So at, at, every, at every step of the way you're being charged for. Yeah, it was pretty was like, crazy. no shot. But that's the economy no now, I guess. That. Like, like today, even today when I picked you guys up, it was like they had like first class parking. Which is no different than the yeah, parking diagonal. Yeah, everything's changing. Coming. Yeah, everything is uh, everything's more getting, tiered. Like, itemized. They're like itemized the, tiers yeah. of payment. You know? In fact, I'm charging you guys for just sitting in this chair. For right just now. sitting. In this chair. <laughs> I brought my own microphone. I didn't want to pay for. I was gonna charge you. You gonna charge? We yeah, have to do, pay for it. dollars for every time you lean against that cushion. We have oh to describe God. to his Patreon, and then there's different <laughs> tiers. Yeah, so different tiers. We have the the elite tier, and we the get the microphones tier. with that. Um, That's how everything. I probably is now. will paywall some of this. Seriously, probably put some of it on like oh, a Patreon. Oh yeah, like, we'll do. We'll stop something. Yeah. May not be a bad idea. No. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's just so, it's just so weird how that's happening. I mean, it's the economy, but I don't think we've. I've said this over and over again, and I think a lot of people agree with this. Is like, I do think this is an interesting time. Like, I'm glad we're doing a podcast yeah. about this. I think it's a really interesting time in our society as far as the economy. I think we're seeing things that like we've never seen before and like other people like that look at this they go they're like oh you know in the other recessions that's just how it works but i think we're seeing like things that are extra than oh for sure times, yeah. like this thing that we're talking about yeah it's like you've got to itemize the internet now like yeah, yeah it was like, it was like we were writing a comedy i was like, like yeah. it's like man you can walk two feet next door and there's a taco shop yeah, yeah, from, it was. Hey, pay free Wi-Fi. Yeah, right yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, why would I pay? Why would and then I there pay? was no breakfast. Yeah, there was yeah, no breakfast. No, like, free, usually no, they have included. like something. Yeah, but, I mean, I think there, there was watery oh, coffee. Oh no, but there really was really no, bad there was coffee. No <laughs> accessible breakfast. You could sit down at the thing. But it was like expensive. It was like I think the cheapest meal I saw there was twenty six bucks. Yeah, it was expensive for just like a couple pancakes yeah. or something. Yeah. It, it, was it was like you're paying they're paying the convenience fees yeah so i think these places are hurting but that yeah, yeah that definitely. was I, I don't know i felt like that was worthy of sharing because yeah that was, fun. It was I a mean, very unique it's a experience. story it's a fun and story. don't get me wrong like the view when you look out like oh it was a really nice view we yeah it was Beautiful a cool view. view you look out and we didn't yeah. have the ocean view but we had like kind of the side view of the street and it's a real pretty 
you know. Yeah, and even the lobby. It's like, a clean place. I'll give them that. It's clean. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yes, very clean. Definitely. And the rest of the trip was super fun. Yeah, and we didn't have yeah. any like, weird neighbor things there or anything. Like, no. Nothing. So overall, like, the stay was fine, but um, it was just a lot of that. And I think that comes with, like, surprises. Yes. Comes yeah, with surprises. definitely more than we thought we were going to get. More than we bargained Enough for. Enough we thought. It made it nice because a lot of our video um, out there was planned around shooting stuff in Santa Monica. Yeah. Um, and we, like, specifically as it pertains to, like, the beach area. Yeah. Which I think we ended up ditching that but used like zuma a, beach i think i think we went to zuma beach yeah. instead um which i guess yeah we could kind of we can kinda break that down a little bit if you guys are cool with that yeah um so we went what were the locations we had zuma beach with zuma we don't need to name them specifically but then we had the we had a couple of those restaurants mm-hmm. which yeah we went names to aren't coming pans right now. pans and then was uh, that the only restaurant we did I think it was when we ate only it. Only one we... Okay. F- okay, the only one we f- filmed at, or was that... There was another one. Or maybe we s- went to the other one. There was a couple I think like it was old, just pans they were we like filmed at. Old school restaurants, yes, basically. Yes, old, old mid-century diners. That's yeah. One of my favorite places, honestly. Dude, I cannot stop thinking about that coffee at that one oh, place. Oh, at uh, Patrick's... Patrick's Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Dude, I would like leave to go to california I've been thinking tomorrow just about to have oh that God. coffee again i've thought about that coffee many times are you serious I'm like, that was I'll i've been drinking <laughs> indonesian coffee since that trip <laughs> see i can't because of my anxiety i can't drink coffee that's fair i just so got a coffee got maker like, so it. i'm gonna look for like I some kind of coffee like it's that. it's crazy good and then we we found a place well i guess we'll get it later we found earth cafe which shout out to brandon for recommending oh earth cafe was really good everything was super cozy Cozy and fresh. I I think we went there like three different times. Yes, and then Schaefer <laughs> Schaefer and I went without you. Once. Like a fourth. Yeah, so we, <laughs> we went over and over again because I think what it is by the end of the day we're tired. Yeah. You don't want to spend that much time looking for a new place, no. even if you're googling it. And so we went to like, Zuma Beach. We had Pan's restaurant. Pan's, and then we Pans. had like another restaurant. We and I think one. What right? Re- yeah. Oh well. We had a nice so cent store. Do, as, do we actually still have the list somewhere? Oh, probably. I don't, I don't know, know if we have, I have that. It. Yeah, because a lot of we changed a lot. Yeah, we, we changed some things. We did. We had like the ninety cent store. I think was one of the places we wanted to go to, and then we got there and it was kind of like disappointing. Um, there was that See? one place. There was a ch- police chase right in front of like when we, like the day we got back. Yes, you sent it. I, remember, I saw the <laughs> screenshot. It was it like, was, oh my god. It was like this little. We saw this place. So we did a lot of research on like Google Maps. I think looking at places. Yes. Yeah. And shooting. I saw this. Very unique little standalone red place that just it was undis like little red building that was vacant. I think it's Google. I think it's in Google. And then there's that like pretty famous like it's car dry. wash across the street from it with all those like those spires like lining it. It was in that area. It was by Pans, not far from Pans. What was it? Did we go to it? No. Uh, I might have passed it, but I know it's that red building, and then there was that car wash. Yeah. And then Pans. Yeah. Is yeah. There. yeah. And yeah, yeah, like the day we get back, there was a police There's chase a police right chase, in front of it. So. Oh yeah, Zuma AMC Theater. Oh, the AMC Theater. Okay, that was interesting. I think we found that on the fly, maybe. Randy's Donuts. We were walking in the Santa Monica area in this little like stripping mall, strip strip stripping mall? mall, stripping mall. Everyone was stripping in the mall. <laughs> this little strip mall, sort of cool, and not really a strip mall, but anyway. Um, there was just strippers everywhere. It was wild. <laughs> it but was crazy. It was crazy. You know, Schaefer paid for a lap dance. <laughs> it was insane. Um, but it's paradise. <laughs> uh, we bad. went oh, never mind. It's behind me. Sorry. to that because I, I like the color scheme of it. It kind of matched another yeah. color scheme in the video. That it was, was like cool. this pinkish kind of turquoise and it looked really cool on video from a certain angle. Like, even when I'm, like, going through the footage, there was, like, an angle that I originally was, sh- like, trying to shoot from, and then the angle we actually did it from, and I was like, yo, that fit. Like, it, it's kind of nondescript. Yeah. And it fits the vibe. Um, and I think AMC is kind of an old school thing. I don't... Yeah, definitely. I really we don't old think... old school stuff. I don't think in, like, 50, 40 years from now, they're gonna, everyone's going to be like, oh, man, AMC. Like, I think that That's might... That's sad. It might be... It's sad, but I, I don't think I AMC is going to be... Yeah, I wonder if movie theaters in general, because I don't know how much people still value going to you right. know the experience of seeing a movie yeah you know? i mean so many I more don't. things just i don't value it 
I oh, used to, sad. and then I had bad experiences, and I'm like, uh, I fall asleep. That's it's, why. It's, it is its own. I like what I, I like to... are like little movie theaters, like little like. You uh, know what? They're opening one in downtown Wheaton. It's an old theater from the '60s. Oh, cool. That they're okay. like re they've been oh, nice. revitalizing for years. They finally got a new oh. marquee on it. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's nice. And they're starting to like build. I notice workers occasionally when I go get my haircut. Like I used to get my haircut at. Yeah. Occasionally, I'll see a worker in there. But it's yeah. been this thing that, like, since I moved here, they've been like, let's, and it's supposed to be a little mini movie theater. So yeah, those are the okay. places I like. Fingers crossed, it happens. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think AMC. I think that was a cool one to shoot in front of, and there was like, I got this cool shot of like people walking past you, and you're just kind of like in your yeah. Element. I don't know. And Silver Lake, we went to Silver Lake. Silver Lake, Silver yeah, Lake yeah. Cool. The stairs and everything. Silver yeah. Lake was. That we was went cool... all over. We had an ambitious list. How did you you found the stairs actually? Yeah. I didn't know about that. I How'd just, you... I mean, just Google. <laughs> like what? What'd you Google? Like Google Maps. I think I was just looking at cool places in Silver Lake. Yeah, that, that was a yeah. that was a cool. One. We got some really cool shots there. Yeah. Uh, and my friend Ryan was nice enough to come out and help us out with that too. He had some really cool ideas. That you know, I'm through like looking at the footage. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. You know, cut yeah. back and forth between those two different. He's got like an eye for film. He's a film guy. Um, so shout out to him. Thanks for you know helping us out with that. That was cool. Yeah, it was a but fun trip. It was. I think that was a cool, cool spot. What was another? What was another spot we went to? Uh, oh, that other diner. Oh, yeah. Rays. Was it Rays? Rays was oh. the other place. Like that yeah, yeah. briefly, and then. Um, oh yeah, we just like hit. A oh, there was a place we ditched. About. We ditched a location. That pink one, Motel we didn't do. The Pink, pink Motel. Yeah, yeah, that place looked yeah. really old school, but I think it was in a CeeLo Green video. It was, yeah. And, and it was, was kind like, of far. Like, and eh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't we're know. Not, we're not CeeLo Green. Yeah. yeah. But it was kind of cool, like, even the – I mean, kind of, like, to sum up even the trip of, like, the hotel – or like even the the windy day at the beach, it kind of like I said, everybody aims for perfection. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying even if a trip doesn't go right, you just go with the flow. You yeah, know, nothing can yeah. be perfect. And I think we originally like had a bunch of locations in one day, and then throughout the yeah. trip, you were kind of like, "Hey, Max, like we oh, gotta yeah. cut these down." Like, yeah. Or at one point, I think the second day, we just like paused and we went to the Santa Monica wheel. Yeah. Which, and we went on that. And oh that yeah, was, the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel was a ton of fun. That, that pier, that the roller coaster, everything. That was we so all. Fun. And the funny thing that is, we sad. all have the same like roller coaster fears or same like. <laughs> yeah, like I like roller coasters, but it not too intense. And the, all the thing, the like ride and all, it was like the perfect. It was perfect. It was yeah, a I, li I like ride. theme park amusements. That yeah. is enough of a roller coaster for me. I yeah, don't need yeah. Anything more yeah. than that little like. I would have traumatized me for the next ten years. <laughs> that was enough. Um. Yeah, and so I think th those were some really cool. I, I when I was yeah. editing that, it looks. I'm excited really to see really it. Cool. I'm excited yeah. to see I'll, it. I'll show you guys it later today. Yeah. It's it's really cool. Um, those were definitely some of my favorite shots. I I loved it. Just like there's a shot in there where I even got like the beach looking down. It, it looks like I have a drone, <laughs> like because I'm up on the roller coaster. Oh coast yeah, so that's down. gonna look like a drone. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. So people are gonna that's be like, cool. oh man, yeah, that, that was like some a drone. nice views from that. that yeah. Funny. So I think that was a that was a fun part of the shoot, but. Um, where else? Where else was was that it? I think in terms of where I don't we know. shot. Yeah. Um, we were all over the place, but like, yeah, shooting. I think Pan, was, Pans was my favorite shooting yeah. location. I love shooting in Pans. That, that was, was fun. The place those, just... are, those are some cool shots. Um, I think. But other than that, yeah, those probably places I'm. What was shot about. in there? Didn't you see some old movie was shot in there? Everybody says some, Pulp Fiction, but it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. I think okay. just like a triple X. They're capping. They're, as, the, as the new generation says, they're capping. They're capping. <laughs> they're capping, which means capping, why. I never know what it means. Uh, I never know what capping or... But you did get a cap from there. I did. Yes, I, I did too. I'm very proud of it. You guys it. both got caps. I, I did, it. I did, I did. It's I should have worn mine. Yeah, I should have worn mine. Were, I almost wore mine here. Oh, you should have. You should have. Yeah, so that was... I think that pans was really cool. It looks it looks really cool on video in there. Okay, yeah. good. It's that yeah. you guys will see. It looks it looks really cool. And I want to talk about like the editing stuff too in a little bit. But um, as far as like the shoot, I shot it all in uh for camera geeks out there. I shot it all in log, knowing I was gonna color correct it afterwards. Cool. Um, I also had this lens like a thirty five millimeter lens that I had newly got before the trip, um, that made everything look really cool and kind of like fit the aesthetic of it. Um, I also bought this thing for my lens that like goes on the outside of it that makes it have that kind of like a glowy sort of thing that film cameras have. So it kind of really maintains that look. Um, and when I shoot it log, it makes, makes me be able to come back to it and post and shoot it 
the right way or uh, edit it the right way with any color any flexibility that i want gives more like metadata to the color of the video okay um so i did i did that you know with design um but yeah i, I don't know I, I think out of all the locations we did i i i think i i, I like the pier stu- i like the santa monica pier stuff um that was just pans. a fun day in general was, yeah. yeah yeah a lot I, of fun yeah we kept it and the vibe too the video was like light you wanted to keep it like lighthearted, very yeah relaxed and i think yeah. that one thing about that that really f- worked there was i, I you know I, those of you that already know this i'm not like i'm repeating myself but i like grew up like filming skating so i've been yeah, used to like so... running gun sort of stuff yeah and that's very much like my style so the fact that i was able to like shoot my own style and keep it like fitting the aesthetic of the video too really yeah. helped um just because it keeps it lighthearted that way where it's like oh yeah pause, now make a funny face yeah Next. Right, right. <laughs> yeah it's like it doesn't really work that way um so i think that that kind of helped keep it flowing yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, now that i did think it was funny that we were there and it was like we had one one spurt of like an hour that was like the weather was nice and we were like beach finally we get to go to the uh, beach. yeah it was a little like cold yeah, for LA. Extremely at least, yeah. windy. We took a little yeah. intermission. Yeah. 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 And I you know that 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 was fun. That was fun. I'm glad glad we got to do that. At least we didn't get to like enjoy a beach day. But that was <laughs> nice. That of. little spit where it wasn't that, that it wasn't was windy, windy, it wasn't cold. Yeah. It was just like sun. When were it was like the end of March warm. we were there, right? Yeah, that would have been late March. Yeah. Yeah, I guess note to self. I I've been there though when it's like seventy in March, so I guess note to self be extra cognizant of that. You can't predict predict anything. Yeah, but, it was difficult. Yeah, to but predict. can't predict it. I was just yeah. Overall, I was I was really hyping the locations. Um, I think you know editing through it too. Another thing I did was uh, I started using DaVinci for this one, okay. which I've always been using Premiere. Um, but oh, the okay. reason I switched over to DaVinci for this is because I was. I spent a lot, a lot of time, and I'm not going to reveal which one it is, but I went on YouTube looking for specific ways to make footage look like old film. And there's so many videos on YouTube where yeah. they like just say, hey, apply this color, and you can adjust this and add green. And I'm like, those videos are ad nauseum, and I'm so yeah. tired of them because I've, I've just been so locked into those videos that I don't know anything outside of that. Um, and so I finally, like through recommendations and like searching – came across this one video where i had this right plugin for davinci they even gave the freaking link yeah and there's not not that many views in this video and it like when i saw the results of it i was like this is what i've been looking for for oh, nice. freaking ever i didn't even know that yeah and it's wow. been like it has been like literally like five six years in the making of like looking oh literally dang i didn't literally know I, would, I, I i probably spent isn't like that good, f- i've noticed that with the and inter- the internet in general when you're like looking for information about uh-huh. software or about some craft you're doing. You to, like, dig oh, deep. this is what it was. It's amazing how difficult it can be because so many people just re- repeat the same thing. Yeah. Like you mm-hmm. said, they'll tell you. Well, kind of going off of that is like, so the reason I found this tutorial to begin with was a recommendation on, I should have said this earlier, on TikTok. Because I was, I was like, where is it? I was like looking for these. Okay. And, like, subconsciously, I was thinking about this. And I hadn't been on TikTok. And I was like, let me just scrub through TikTok. Yeah. And I found it through, like, a TikTok. Yeah. Like, okay. I don't even get editing TikToks like that that often. I do, like, pretty frequently. But not, like, I get, like, drama TikToks, really, is what it is. Literally, just drama. Not helpful. Um, Which doesn't help me figure out my career process. But that was, I think that was a really interesting revelation for me when yeah. TikTok showed me that exact thing that I've been looking for. Yeah. But I, I didn't even ask. Yeah. yeah. It was weird. I wasn't like on a search for it, and it just knew. Then YouTube started recommending kind of me better scary. stuff. At yeah. which point I started seeing other videos, but this was the one. That was the video where I was like, "This is it." Yeah. And I it took me a long time to find that. To tell you the truth, I was ab nauseum on YouTube, and nice. I finally found the right one. And I finally was like, you know, it, you make your own thing. They give you like, basically, you you buy the lot, and then you can kind of make your own thing off it. Mm-hmm. They give you recommendations to get to it, and then you have to adjust according to what you have. Um, so I think the stuff that we did, like I shot it like a little bit on a cooler temperature, like color temperature. So it's like, more, looks, so it's like more bluey than it is orangey. Okay. So I had to like fix that when I did that in post, I was like, I had to crank it up, make it look a little more orangey, more like kind of that yeah. aesthetic, um, which was fun for me to do and figure that out with the new software. Cool. And I think once I felt that it was kind of that, like, 
I did this feeling. Yeah. Which was like huge because like I've been looking for that forever. Yeah. Um, and I think that cool. really made the video what it is, what it was. Yeah, it's that's going a cool backstory nice. for that. Yeah. Um, you know, future me will have this video done, but as yes, of right now, I'm I still have. like I have everything lined up. Uh, B roll I got, you know, a spot, and you just have to figure out what goes where. I'm just kind of doing the the Tetris of it all. I'm also like starving. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. Bafer and I were trying our best to make her starve to death. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm actually have eaten a ton. I'm not hungry at all. We both have, and she's starving. We're just pretending that we're starving with her. <laughs> we're gonna starve her to death on purpose. And then once we do that, I'm gonna install a peekaboo shower in this house. Yes. I'm going to, that's my new business that's model. The plan. Quitting video, installing peekaboo showers. I want to normalize peekaboo showers in <laughs> Chicago. You know, I want to spread the market to Chicago. <laughs> spread the market. Spread the scene. I don't even know if it's not spread. I think that was just like the most exciting part of like the editing process for yeah. me. And I'll, I'll show you guys. They haven't even seen it yet. I mean, they haven't nope. even seen anything. So I'm going to show them later today. Um, nice. But, you know, having having said that, yeah, I shot it all on my FX3, too, which was the first time shooting a full music video on my FX3 because I had a travel bag with me for my camera. And the FX6 is, like, a bigger, beefier camera, and it's so heavy, like, when I'm traveling. Like, it literally hurts my back to bring that camera. Oh, wow, yeah. That's and the FX, equipment having the FX3 there. is more of, like, a DSLR camera. So it was nice for me to kind of pack that up in my camera bag and pack a little bit lighter. Um, and I, I know a lot of people that shoot plenty of music just on that. Like that that's right. not by any means not just like a worsened camera or anything like that. Like it's literally the same gray, it's just like a more compact version. This is something you wanna hear this? This is a crazy thing. So I was on a shoot recently telling a friend, like a good friend of mine about this. I was like, Yeah, so I shot like this, I did this, and I was giving him all the specifics because he's he's very like techy like I am. And like he scared the death out of me because I was like I was like, So I did this, I did this I was like, I shot it in 8-bit, and he was like, dude, you did that in 8-bit? And I was like, what? He's like, you can't do that much color correction when it's in 8-bit. What are, you, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, shoot. I literally froze up. Oh, I just realized what you meant, yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, there goes the whole plan the of the whole video. Thing. It was gone, and it scared me. And so I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And all of a sudden, I get back home, and I was just like, let me just open up this tutorial and just hope it says something that I need. And I opened the tutorial back up and said, this is what you do for 8-bit. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, bless your soul that this is all meant for 8-bit. <laughs> Thank and God. I like put the color on it immediately after that. And I was like, this is exactly what I want. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that would have sucked. scared the crap. Oh, gosh, yeah. I, know. I was literally yeah. shaking because I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh. It scared the crap out of me. But again, yeah, that's, I've had stuff like that happen. That's, just, yeah. that's what happens behind the scenes editing that you don't yeah. see. Yeah. All is um, lost. You think everything's second. lost, and then you have to hope. I mean, that. I was literally on this shoot. Like, I couldn't. Like, I was trying to do this shoot and like not think about that, and I just couldn't. It was like that was yeah. that thought was here, and everything else was out the window. Oh, man. <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah, that's rough. We're there now. We're there. Yeah. Um, we made it. Yeah. I, I don't live a hard life anymore. It's no. all easy. <laughs> it's all easy now. It's all it's smooth all easy sailing. Easy, easy going forward. It's all easy. easy um. So yeah, that's that's kind of like the editing process, and you know we'll have this done. We're gonna do, you know, I we might have already done it by now, but we talked about doing a little in real life premiere of it. Yeah, I think that'd be a that'd good be idea. Cool. Yeah, like yeah. um, yeah, showing music videos in person, and that that kind of goes off of our the whole thing that we always talk about. We don't need to like be up the subject too much. I guess we can kind of tap into it real quickly. Is like the whole idea of like you know you brought you guys brought it up a couple times already about social media and how yeah. everything's moving. But I think that was kind of our idea around that was like, you know, it's like everyone's like, oh, man, new music video. And it's like, yeah. Like yeah. Like, ends. I yeah. thought it'd be cool to, like, get people together and, like, have, you know, whoever. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be, like, a new release. Yeah. Just, like, have a music video festival. Like, show it on a big screen. and mm -hmm. Or have, like, TVs playing it and stuff. And it's a bit a party. It's kind of Yeah. Like party. And you can even actually have... see who's watching and have yeah. real-time reactions and yeah. real-time Exactly. people like yeah being like oh man that was cool like i appreciate blah, yeah. blah, blah or whatever it is yeah um and have a more human <laughs> make it human into a social event you know yeah i think that's I instead really of just like, like hey can you guys watch this video can you like and <laughs> link subscribe? in bio bro <laughs> please yeah. like and subscribe i mean obviously hopefully that would get you likes but it would kind of be cool i mean we're no, still gonna do so. that afterward i think like still yeah. put on the internet for that but I think it'd be cool to in person have people come before time. Yeah, I think so. I think that'd I think be cool. So. 
Um, just I feel an more, idea. more artists should do that. Is try to maybe we, I mean, maybe they person. do. I think so. Caroline and I said this, but like have like our own like music video festival. Yes, sort of that would yeah, be cool. Like that. I'm down for that. I I think it's a lost art. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, and I, I think there's a space to be had for that for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm going off of that too, just real quickly. I don't want to like beat the subject because you could sit here and chat on it all day, but like social media has really, I think, just changed how sharing music videos is because mm-hmm. it's like really like you could wake up and like six people could say link in bio yeah and then exactly you're... that's what i mean yeah and then you're sitting there going man how many people are gonna see this yeah or like oh man like what what's gonna happen is it gonna get dead in the algorithm or like yeah there's so many different worries and so many different things around it that like it becomes a lost art when you're in the sea of people that are like getting there with their little interview mic for tiktok or they're yeah like, yeah they're like you want to hear a song that's going to depress you for the rest of your life? Oh, yeah. Or, like, just shit that has to, like, catch your attention. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's all it's sensationalized. It's all about it's catching all attention. Uh-huh. Exaggerated. And I think this, doing this, kind of keeps it back to the original thing of what you guys were trying to do. Yeah. Is kind of foster that environment of, like, hey, this is back to what it was. Yeah. This is, yeah. like, what it, sh- <laughs> what it should be. Yeah. 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 Um, which For I think sure. is I think is really cool. But let's call it, let's call it a freaking wrap cool um, it's a wrap yeah it's thanks wrap. for doing this guys um yeah thank you thank for you having for us. the second yes, time on the pod fun. fun um and yeah th- just you know excited for everyone to see the video and check that yes, out we're super it should excited. be it be fun where can they check you guys out uh i guess instagram and youtube and spotify mm-hmm. cq lucius on instagram caroline lucius on spotify caroline lucius on youtube Sweet. caroline i'm mumbling Caroline, Caroline Lucius. Lucius. I think you spelled it wrong at the so far. L U C I U S. There was like a girl in front of me that was like L U C S, and I was like, "That's spelled Lux, bro." Lux, yeah. <laughs> Lux. People mess things up. But Spelling hey, it's a, I get it though. It's probably a harder name to spell. Um, yeah, but Lucius. Lucius. Don't don't misspell it. Don't misunderstand us. I think we should us. say Lucius yeah. instead of Lucius. Yeah, people would get it it's more. It's easier to. Who knows though? Understand. They might spell it weird. Yeah. But. Oh. Go go listen. Go stream music. Go yeah. go do the thing. Go do go do the job. Go do what you're supposed to do. Enjoy yourself. Don't think too much. Listen yeah. to music, and be healthy. Be healthy. Stay healthy. Peace. Stay wise. Peace. And Stay. Be kind. Dear. Yeah, be kind. Be, be kind. kind to one I stole and that. To I stole that from my friends. But be and, kind. And be, to nice. be nice. Be nice. That sounds like a parent talking. Why? Be nice, kiddos. Be, be nice. nice. <laughs> Don't fight. Please be nice. Don't be mean. <laughs> All right. Peace. Peace.